Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody, and welcome to Friday Night Streaming from the Hermitcraft server with me, Ren Digger. Da, what's happening, people? We're taking the hat off today, okay? We've worn this thing the entire week. We've done our time for not having a crown, for not having watched the button. We are taking the hat off. I think we've done our time. Would you guys not agree? Boop. Seriously. Couldn't wear this thing forever. You know? Outrageous. Welcome so much to the stream, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm a little bit confused slash nervous about what we're going to do today. Okay? Because um, I don't really know much about this subject. And I'm going to need your help. Lin Lin! Birthday time for Lin! Happy birthday to you. Hope you're having a really great day. Raikjev is here also. Hey Raikjev, what's up? Man, look at those beautiful red TV screens. Those OGs in the house, man. Damn! Hey guys. You guys were around uh, before I even had any wisdom. Remember those days? Oh man. Uh, speaking of OGs, guys, my goodness, look at these hardcore OG subs, resubs in the house. 86 months for Wolfric. I mean, Wolfric is like top five, easily. Wolfric was also around when we didn't have much wisdom. Uh, I'm a bit quiet. I shouldn't be. Things are looking okay here on my... You know what? We can tweak the microphone a little bit. Let's turn that up a bit. Is that better? Hold on. A little bit more. How's that? Maybe the music's a bit loud. I was checking out the uh, the VOD of the last stream. I feel like our music's a bit loud. Yeah, I think I think I need to get the music down a bit. Let's try let's try have lower music this uh, this stream, shall we? Uh, Yo, Zumo, three months in a row. Welcome back, my friend. And Mimi is here with a twenty-four month, two year resub. Thank you so much, Mimi. Lazy's here also with some biddies. Thank you very much, Lazy. Hey, Ren. Ren time. <laughs> Hi, Lazy. Nice to see you. Uh, Sue's back at it with a 32 months in a row too, and uh, my main human being, it's the keyboard Spielerin. 36 months. Keyboard, 36 months? Dude, for real? Hasn't been that long, surely. That's madness. I think I did have some wisdom back then, to be honest. <laughs> Runyon, six months in a row, and Incurious, 15. Thank you so very much, guys. That's very kind of you to start off our stream with some Marie subs and some biddies to the face. Level 3 Hype Train Derail. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Kamidar here with the three months too. Hey man, what's happening people? What's happening? Man, I'm excited. I'm excited for this stream, honestly. Shall we go big camp for a second? Today I had, a, I had a barbecue, okay? The sun was out, I decided I'm a South African. Time to get the barbecue out. So we had a barbecue for lunch today. Mwah, feeling good. I've got a delicious cup of um, lemon cordial sparkling water. At the risk of sounding extremely posh, well, I, I don't think actually, actually I there's no rewinding here, is there? I, I'm I'm holding a glass of lemon cordial with sparkling water. I think that instantly makes me makes me posh. I mean, all the toys behind me scream otherwise. So maybe the the toys outbalance the sparkling water and we land somewhere in between posh and not posh yeah let's that's my story i'm sticking to it mm. delicious i'm in a good mood today guys we've got a video out today on youtube also you haven't watched it you need to go check it out now listen oh i did i've got so much news for you a lot of you guys have been asking me why the twitch vod's are now subscriber only let me try answer that question because this VOD will go onto YouTube. So anybody who's wondering, this is the answer. After much pondering, I decided that I wanted to give my subscribers something uh, of value. Subscribing to this channel and sending me a small amount of money every month is a very generous thing to do. And just giving you a badge and some emotes on Twitch. Uh-oh, that's me. Um, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> For me, doesn't quite cut the mustard uh, in the value department. 
And so I thought I'd like my subscribers to have first-hand access to the VODs as they come out. But I understand that there are a bunch of you peeps out there that maybe can't afford to subscribe. And that's also okay. And so here's the compromise, okay? So VODs will be subscriber only for the first 24 hours after a stream. And then they go on onto YouTube for free. So those of you guys who are subs and you miss the streams, you can catch up directly after the stream within 24 hours. And those of you guys who are not subs or don't want to sub, you'll be able to catch the VOD 24 hours later. I believe that this is a fair balance of the two things. Uh, I want to say, I want to do something to say thank you to my subscribers. And uh, I hope that's okay, you know, like I, I get quite a strange backlash uh, about this issue and it kind of confuses me. Um, you know, it's only, you know, these days a subscription is like, you know, almost the, the price of a Starbucks coffee. <laughs> Nevertheless, I do want to, to say thank you in some way. And uh, to me, giving subs uh, earlier access to the VODs feels like a, a pretty good thank you. So I hope that makes sense. And for those of you guys who want to, you know, don't want to sub or can't afford it or whatever, you just have to wait a teensy weensy smidgicles later for the uh, VODs to end up on, on, uh, on YouTube. All a little bit daunting because now the face, now we've got the webcam face thing going on also. So now my face is going everywhere. But you know what? Whatever. We ain't getting any younger. We might as well use this beautiful face while it still looks reasonably beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Today, I, I will never look better today. I will never look better than I do today. Isn't that what they say? You'll never look better than you do in this moment. Yes. So let's let's ride the reasonably good looking wave for as long as possible. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's uh, youtube.com forward slash rendog TV. Go check it out. Oh, dudes, I have so much exciting stuff to tell you. Wait, I don't... Wait, hold on. I have to push buttons and stuff. Wait a minute. Okay, we're going to do... Uh, we're going to get technical up in here, friends. We are professional streamers. I have just received the renders or... Uh, yeah, like the renders of the TCG Collector's Rendog card. You... For those of you guys who are follow, following uh, IRL TCG, you'll know that we're going to be releasing collector's cards soon that are signed. So these will be collector's edition cards of the Hermit's cards that we will individually sign. Like, I'm actually going to sign the thing. And then you get it. That's, that's yeah, that's that's how it works. Which is pretty sweet. Let me see if I can, uh, if I can bring this up for you. I've just received some graphics of what my card's going to look like. And you got you guys got to see it, man. It's so sweet. Check this out. Is is this the one? Is that? Wait. Uh, there we go. No, that's not the one. That's the wrong screen. Hold on. Let me move. Oh, actually, that's fine because that's just Spotify. Let me move this to over there. And let's try that again. Yes, there we go. Okay. So check it out, dudes. That's our card. Look at that, man. Look, look at look, look at this. Isn't this awesome? Oh my goodness. Look at this. I love the pile of diamonds, like, underneath. I think the blue at the bottom of the card really, like, balances the, the colors. Because you've got the light coming through the top. And then you've got this sort of electric blue at the bottom. And it kind of helps to frame the king in the middle quite nicely. I kind of like the sassy look I'm given also. You know, like, I think this captured the, the sassiness that I had when I was the king. I love the diamonds, like, in the coat. I love the pose. I love the shoes. It's also it's just awesome. And I'm really, really, really happy with it. I, I think it turned out absolutely amazing. So yeah, this is what you get. Uh, it comes in this really cool box and I'm going to sign it. So yeah, I'll probably sign it. I don't want to, I, I don't know, I have to think about where I'm going to sign it. I'll probably sign it. I don't want to sign it over the art here. I might sign it down here with like a gold pen, something, you know, like over here in this area. But check it out. There's a, a here's a clean, a clean cut of the art. And as you can see, it's it's pretty awesome. Uh, I really love it. I think <laughs> I love the, the the crown, the ears, everything. You know, I love the gloves. I love how my hands are like holding this little diamond. That's super cool. And uh, what else have we got? Okay, yeah, there's there's the the card in situ from a a look down perspective. That looks pretty sweet. And then the last one is I don't know. It's the same thing, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's coming real soon, guys. It's going to be available on Creo.com uh, on, from the 1st of July, I believe, is when it's going live. 
and uh, it's a great way to support me and support TCG if that's what you would like to do. Um, it's I think it's something like I think it's twenty eight dollars or thirty dollars. I don't actually I don't know what the price is, but it's going to be it's going to be a re you know it's going to be this is a collector's item right so it's it's probably going to be a, a reasonable price but also not like a super cheap price either so this is this is for your you big supporters out there that want to that would like to support with you know with something special um don't quote me on the price i don't, actually don't know what the price is um <laughs> i'm just guessing from what i've read and stuff that it's going to be somewhere around 30 bucks something like that uh, and yes, Natum, we the Hermits will get uh, a, a bit of the uh, the earnings for each sale. So it's a great way to support us if uh, if that's what you'd like to do and get something uh, something nice for your support too. Um, yeah, Fallen Wolf, maybe it was forty. Is it forty? I don't know. Uh, to be to be honest, I'm kind of bad with this stuff. I don't know the details about the pricing and things like that. Like I don't, I just don't know what the pricing and stuff is. But it will all be on Creo.com from the first of July, I believe. When it all becomes available but i'm very very excited for it i think our, our card turned out amazing uh, i think it's it's super cool and i i can't wait to sign them and get them to you guys you know those of you guys who are gonna gonna get it you're gonna you're gonna get a piece of cardboard that i touched and signed with my own hands and it's gonna be so it's gonna be awesome you know like i don't know why it's for me it's just gonna be sweet so i'm looking forward to it um anyway so that's that little bit of news have I covered everything? We've got a new VO, uh, stream replay channel on YouTube. YouTube.com forward slash Rendog TV. VODs get uploaded 24 hours after the live stream. If you'd like to get VOD right away, be a subscriber of this channel on Twitch and you'll get VOD right away. Um, uh, TCG collector's card's coming soon. We're going to have our very own uh, collector's card and you can have it signed by me personally if you would like. That's all coming on the 1st of July. What's what else? Oh, new video came out today, people. Go watch the new video after this. And the last bit of news is that I am apparently really posh, and I've just realized it because I'm drinking sparkling water with lime cordial. Don't judge me. Okay? I can't help it. I have a posh soul. I was dripping all over me, man. That is <laughs> I certainly don't drink very poshly. Hold on, let me just let me just clean myself up. I'm covered in lime cordial juice. Uh, dudes, thank you so much, by the way, for kicking things off today. With so much support going on in the notifications, man. Thank you. Tatsumi with the birdies. Keyboard with the birdies, too. Can't wait for the inevitable struggle to choose which of these to get. Oh, it's going to be tough, keyboard. It's going to be tough. Oh, I think... Um, by the, Oh, dudes, by the way, regarding the card, uh, I'm, I'm going to do a promo with Creo. I think a few of the hermits are doing it. We're going to be giving away five of these, okay? signed uh through twitch i don't know exactly how it works i think you have to follow creo on twitch it's one of those one of those competitions so if you can't afford it uh, that's going to be a, a a way that you might get one so make sure that you're watching on twitter i'll post it on twitter probably this weekend and uh, we're, we're giving going to give away five of them um how much are the cards honestly i i don't want to say a number because i don't know but i it, it's I, I, I honestly I don't know, <laughs> so I'm not I'm not going to throw a number out there. It's it's going to be a a, a reasonable price. You know, it's going to be around the, the the cost of a plushie. I think is is where the pricing it, um, sort of fits or sort of sits somewhere. Uh, Emerald says, "Huge appreciate the v appreciate the VOD channel. Please include the date at which each upload is streamed." That's that's a very good idea. Yes, I must remember to do that. Uh, yes, I did mean Twitter. Yes, listen, I'm all a fluster, people. My poshness has been revealed. I've been desperate to try and hide the fact that I'm a posh, a posh boy. And today I, I today I dropped my cards for the first time in a decade. Uh, you hate to see it. Kosh, my friend, thank you so very much for the 25 gifted subs. That is absolutely an insanely generous donation uh, of Subarinos. Thank you so much, Kosh. Guys, if you got a sub from Kosh today, this man has been supporting us incredibly for very very many years and safe to say that without caution all the other ready generous sub bombers on this channel that it would be very very different here today so thank you very much to caution and, and everybody else you guys know who you are you 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 patreons out there that support me and look after me guys thank you so very much 
Uh, Walt Briggs is here with a gifted sub too. And Impact Darian with a six months. Boomer Slurry with a 60 month. What? 60 months? I don't, dudes, we're supposed to be playing Minecraft here, people. Jeez. Miss Mon here with a 10 months. 10 months of Rendog goodness. And Cezero, speaking of huge gifters that look after us here on the channel, Cezero coming in hot with a 10 gifted subs. Guys, you're going to make me sweat live on camera. Is that what you want? I will pour the cordial on the face. No, rewind. R rewind. But you will... You. We have to hooten and toot and they're hooten and tootin' again, my friends, because Shadow Panther is here with 25 gifted submarinos. Hooten and tootin' and tootin' hooten. Shadow, crazy, crazy people. Shadow, Kosh, Cezero, and everybody else, thank you so very much, guys. I really appreciate it, man. It, it, unbelievable. Shadow with a resub of 36 months, too, and Bayo, the beautiful, amazing Bayo with the 36 months, too. Three years of Twitch subage. Bayo, what the heck? Has it been that long already? We've got so much wisdom. we got so much wisdom, my friend. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you guys so much. Thank you very much, everybody. Really, really... Um... Oh, man. Amazing. Uh, yeah. Uh, YouTube video went out today, guys. We, we set up a new record farm. We turned our creeper farm into a, t a gunpowder farm and a record farm now. So we rebuilt the record farm we made with ZF at the bottom. It's super cool. Uh, it actually turned out like way more awesome than I thought it would. And I'm very, very happy with it. We got some rainstone in there that like redirects the creepers and we can farm them with the skeleton and whatnot. And there's a whole collection chamber down at the bottom here. It's all, it's all very awesome. All in the latest episode. Uh, but the stream before this, uh, so when was the last time we streamed? On Sunday, I think it was. We headed off with the Hermits to go look for 1.20, 1.20 Hermitcraft stuff. And I did see uh, I Jevin's video today. He's opened up a trim shop, which it sounds super cool. I want to go check it out. But we're going to head back to the um, the shopping district. Have a look at Jevin's trim shop. But what I would like to do with you guys today is to go find some trims. Okay. I actually know very little about the trims and how they function. But I assume... And it, it, because I was really bad at finding trims on the stream that we did with the hermits. I actually didn't know what was going on. <laughs> uh, it, it took me a while to realize that you need the archaeology uh, brush. You have to like tickle the sand to, for the chance of finding trims. But at some point in that stream, somebody mentioned that you can, you can find trims in the um, deep dark. Is that correct? I... I think that's correct, right? Now, my question is, are these trims in the deep dark, are, are they in the chests of the ancient cities? Is that is that where they are? Like, I, I would like to maybe go and explore a hidden, uh, for us to go explore an ancient city with today and see if we can find some of the trims. They're in every structure. <laughs> Sand ticklers unite. <laughs> oh man. Oh, and strongholds too. Okay, nice. You can find a silence one. Okay. Guys, I don't even know what any of that means. Okay? I generally don't watch Minecraft update videos because I kind of like to discover the, the new things myself. Um, so, I'm assuming that these trims have names. And, yeah, like, yeah, like pottery, cracked pottery trim and silence trim and all of these sort of things. Does, does a silence trim, like, make you not make noise? It, it, like, do these trims actually do stuff? Do they do they have function in the game, or or, or or do they just make your armor look cool? Get one in the end, or so. Yeah, Daniel, I'm I'm loving the discovery side. I, like every update should have this, right? Every update should ha have these cool things that we want to go and find. You know, I'm like super excited about finding these things now. No functionality. Okay. You know what? I'm okay with that. Look, I'm a Diablo player. All right. I love. Making my armor look sweet, even though it doesn't make it any better. All right, I'm, th that's what I've been doing in Diablo for years. By the by, the way, Diablo Four, awesome. 
Uh, Cyril Starboard, 1,000 Bitterinos. Thank you so much, Cyril. Uh, that, Cyril, that is really generous of you. Hey, Ren, love the face cam. Hope you've been better off the last few months. We are getting there, Cyril. We're definitely, I'm definitely on the up and up. I'm starting to, uh, days are better than they're bad. Does that make sense? Like the pendulum has swung, you know? Like two months ago, the whole day was really terrible and I was really struggling for most of the day. Now, during the day, I might have like an hour or two where I get a, I get knocked. But we, the pendulum has gone past the middle, the middle bit. So that's good. <laughs> that's really good. Uh, now, where is this trim shop? Um, it's over here somewhere, right? Wait, hold on. I should have been paying more attention. Um... Oh, let's check the button. Yeah. <laughs> let's check the button. Yeah, I'm looking for Jevon's armor shop. I thought it was some, I thought it was close by here. Let's have a look. Where's the button at? Oh, is this good? Is this good? Do we push the button? Wait, what's happening? People? No, oh no, it's it's where this light is, right? Okay. Sad. Never mind. I got overexcited for nothing. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> we gotta wait. Okay, dudes, we'll cut. We'll come check in again. Okay, we'll come check in again soon. Uh, in front of the moss shop. Okay. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Sweet. Let's have a look at this thing. Man, Jevin did a good job on this. This is fantastic. Look at this build. This is so clever and also showing the trims with like, uh, you know, like customers outside. That is so clever. Wow, Jevin. I am very impressed. This is awesome. Heck yeah, man. This is what a shop in the Hemocraft shopping district should look like. This is fantastic. Okay, uh, let's have a look here. Order here. Oh, it's an order thing? All trims are 12 diamonds each. To order, find the single or set that you want. Place your diamonds in the chest and on the next page, tell me the names of the pieces that you want. Feel free to browse around the store and look at the various armor trims. Okay. All right, let's have a look. Okay, cool. So so we order them from Jeb and then Jeb goes and gets them. <laughs> you could say he's trimmed the shop. He's trimmed uh, the shop. I see what you did there, my dude. I like it. Please remember to put the trim back in the correct place. Okay. I, we, we won't touch any of uh, Jevin's trimmage. Ooh, this one's... Ooh, this is very sweet. Is this the silence? Ah. Mojang Sneaky. They made the silence one the most awesome. Did they not? Look at that. That's definitely the most awesome. Okay, so that's the good stuff right there. That's the good one. I like that one. Although, to be honest... I'm just going to be straight up honest here. It is quite a lot of trimmage. Hmm. By the way, Sue, thank you very much for the gifted sub. And Peter, Paul, hey, my friend, what's happening, Peter? Nice to see you again, man. For all the supporters. Indeed, Peter. Thank you very, very much for all the hearty faces and the biddies. Uh, Satin here with some biddies also. Nice to see you as always, Satin. Happy to report that the second I moved out and cut my hair, I am finally started transitioning. Thank you, Ren and chat, for the love and support you're giving me through this. And happy Pride Month. Happy Pride to you, Saturn. I'm so, so glad that uh, that you're happy and it's and things are, are moving for you. That's amazing. Thank you, Saturn. And uh, best of luck for you for the next bits. Amazing. Uh, Samurai and Thier also with the 18 month. Double twitch, baby, baby. Oh, ain't they beautiful? Um, anyway, silence trim, silent trimmage, silence trimmage. Is that what we want? This one's fun. I kind of like that one. Is this ancient, is this, uh, mansions for this one? I mean, this has got to be a rare one too, because the mansions are quite difficult to find, right? Yeah, it makes you mage-like. That's very cool. Yeah, mansions for this one. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a tough one to find. I mean, ancient cities are everywhere, right? Mansions are like pretty tough to discover. 
Oh, and you, you can mix and match the places also. So, like, basically, you want... You want a full set that's, like, boots from the ancient city, pants from a mansion, chesticles from the end, and hatsicles from the nether, or something like that, right? Yeah, the Vex one is actually sweet. I do like that one. What are some of the other ones? This is such a sweet shop. This was such a good idea, Jovan. I love this. Let's have a look. I, this one's kind of cool. This has got like an Egyptian vibe to it, right? Rib? Kind of like this one. It, what's this? Okay, I'm going to guess. Ravages? Is this like Ravager, a Ravager thing? How do we get this one? Kind of like rib. I don't know why. I think I like the symmetry of it. You know? You can use all the ores for it as well, so you can mix and match. Oh, nice. Oh, this is Nether Fortress. Okay, cool. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so that's Nether Fortress. Eye. Oh, eye is pretty sweet. Like, eye is... I love the little circle on your, on your tummy. Eye of the Ender, right? How do we get I? Is this like Enderman? Th this has got to be the end, right? This is the end. Rib is near the fortress. Okay. I oh, was in the bastions. Okay, I see, I see. <laughs> Always good to wear a target. <laughs> Yo, Turkish, Turkish Axolotl. Dude, brand new subscriber in the house. Welcome, my friend. Oh, you love to see the new subscribers. They don't come very often. Thank you very much, Turkish. Appreciate you, dude. Welcome, welcome, welcome. That's awesome. Welcome, dude. End Stronghold. Okay, End Stronghold for that one. Very interesting. I kind of like uh, this Shaper's Helmet one. You know, I kind of like this going around the top. That's pretty cool. Uh, yo, Saya Kung, thank you for the 33 months, man. Hi, Ren. I hope you're doing well. Since I resub, I wanted to take the opportunity to tell you. Yesterday, someone came on the Discord and contacted me to tell me they accidentally reported my Steam account. It's a scam. They stole my account. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. That's terrible, dude. Fortunately, Steam gave it back to me today, but I thought you should know. Okay, Saya. Uh, that's not good. Guys, if you get a Discord... It seems like Discord is contacting you about a Steam account. Careful. Careful. Yeah, Jeb went full speed run. He must have been grinding for 24 hours to get all this stuff. This is crazy. Oh, Snout is pretty sweet. I like the... Dudes, this is our helmet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is the Rain Dog helmet, right? Because we got ears. We got ears on our, on, our, on our character. Right? The ears, like, match the... This is the ear hole for our ears. How do we get Snout, people? I'm assuming this is the... Uh, Hoglin... <laughs> earmuffs exactly earmuffs for the for the ears bastion remnants okay so we're gonna have to spend a lot of time in the nether then it looks like it um i want that hat that hat's happening this is gonna be our hat guys we're gonna have a snout hat that's for sure uh we need silence for something i'm i'm thinking like snout hat silence um chesticles because I think that looks really sweet. Then we just got to figure out the pant and the shoes. Um, I don't know. I don't see like... Oh, you know what? We could go for... Yeah, let's get these for the pants. We'll get ribs for the pants. These stripey, tr stripey pant ones. And then... Then we need to find some sweet shoes. Kind of like the wild... You know what? I think the wild shoes actually work quite nicely with us. Because our shoes... Let me take my, my, my slippers off. Look, we've got these like... These, these Converse on. Look. Kind of matches, right? Our Converse... Shoes and the wild shoes. How do we get the wild shoes? Are these just armor stands? I don't want to like. I don't have. I don't have the book. I don't have the armor stand books. I don't want to mess this up. 
Yeah, yeah, JT, that's that's so true. We only the only the only armor we actually wear are boots. <laughs> so we gotta get the best boots. Oh, it's jungle temple for wild, okay. Maybe we get the silence bootsies. Hmm. Okay, very interesting, friends. This is so cool. Big shout out to Jevin for this uh, this really cool shop. That's great. Really love that. So I'm thinking. What are we gonna do today, friends? Ancient city. I have never been to an ancient city. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm guessing that going to an ancient city without knowing what you're doing is... We're going to die. Is this... This is correct, right? We were... Yeah. Probably gonna die. Let's head back to Gigacorp Island. Let's get ourselves prepared for ancient city raiding. You guys need to tell me what to do, okay? I need help. How do we raid an ancient city? What's the protocol? Is there a way... Uh, can you raid an ancient city with um, invisibility potions? Hold on, before we leave, do invisibility potions work in ancient cities? Lots of wool. Lots of wool. Maybe we should take some time to get some wool then before we head off. No, they sniff you? Okay. The warden can smell you. Okay, so invisib inv invisibility does not work. Wool? Wool works. Wool works. Okay. Um, how much wool can we take? Corrales, my dear friend, I'm going to borrow a shulker box. We're going to take a shulker box of wool. Is that good? Shulker box of wool will, 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 will work, right? How much, how much diamonds have I got here? Hold on. 32 diamonds. That's not going to get us enough wool, I think. I think we need some more. <laughs> we need all the diamonds. Bring a bed to set spawn. That's a really good idea. What about ender pearls? Ender pearls to me seems like it might be a, a good, like, quick, fast escape thing from the, uh, from the warden. Swifty Sneak is handy if you don't have it. I don't I don't think I have Swift Sneak. But that oh that's a really smart idea actually. Yes. Let's hold thumbs that Impulse has stocked Swift Sneak boots. Swift Sneak Swift Sneak is 10 diamonds each. No! No Swift Sneak. Yeah, definitely repair before we go, definitely. No swift sneak, people. Oh, that's awful. How do we get swift sneak? Oh, in the eye buy shop. All right, off to eye buy we go. Yeah, let's go check the book nook. <laughs> Dudes, we need to get prepared for this. I'm assuming that the ancient city is not like end raiding, right? End raiding is like chill streaming. These days we've we've end busted together so much that we can go to the end like with one eye closed, you know? We're chilling. I'm guessing this is uh, a little bit more complicated. Floor two. Let's go to floor two. Elevator, please. This shop is so sweet. <laughs> uh, is this floor two? This is floor five. This is not floor two. Oh, you know what though? I do need some more totems, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's pick up some more totems while we're up here. <laughs> yep. Oh, this is floor two? Oh, Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Like, the floor number isn't displayed on each floor. I get it. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. All right, where's the book nook then? It's around, around here. Yes, here it is. Okay, nice. Best sellers. Mending, efficiency, breaking, blah, 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 blah. Yada, yada, yada. Where is... There it is. Swift... No! Sold out. Dang it, people. Oh, wait a minute. 
I have a vague memory of Impulse giving me one of these books. Wait a minute. Is it in here? Yes! Oh, dudes! Look, I've got a lot of wisdom in my hair. And my memory is starting to go. But I did suddenly have a flash of memory. I don't remember why or how Impulse gave this to me. I think it might have been a marketing thing. I don't know. I can't remember. But we've got it. Amazing. That is... Okay, that is... That's some good luck right there. Whoopsie. Wait a minute. You can edit signs now? <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> We're discovering the patch as we go, guys. That's awesome. Uh, by the way, where are me totems? Here we go. The Giga Shields. Yeah, we need to uh, restock the Giga Shields. Is that enough Giga Shields? I feel like we should maybe get a, a smidgicles more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's, uh, let's get some more. <laughs> Just in case, you know? Just in case. Never done this before, okay? Never been to an ancient city. I'm, I'm nervous. Uh, guys, does I buy sell wool? Bed wool night vision. Oh, night vision is very smart. You put swift sneak on the leggings? Do you? I don't really want to put them on the boots because the boots have have depth strider. Can I put them on the leggings? Yeah, beef sells that. It will get very dark. Okay, we need to stop into beef's wool shop and let's go to the coffee shop real quick. Let's go to uh, Cub Fan's coffee shop for potions. Are they going in the leggings? Okay, nice. That's so cool, man. Like, leggings finally get to, like, actually do something, you know? Uh, yo, Kaimare, 37 months in a row, approaching mini OG status. On this channel, when you hit 40 months, you're a mini OG. But you know what? I'm going to give you a hootin' and a tootin' for being close. Thank you, Kaimare, and welcome back. Thanks again, by the way, guys, for all the support today. Very much appreciated. And uh, a special thanks to... The regular maniac sub bombers, Kosh, Cezero, Panther, I see you all. Thank you guys very, very much. And now I've obviously missed someone too. Dang it. Dudes, the memory, okay? It's not as good as it used to be. I can't remember 10 minutes ago. Jeez. All right, night vision. Um, where's the night vision one? This is Extreme Espresso. Invisible Irish, Laser Latte, Hearty Health, Turkish Turtle. Cold Brew Weakness, Strength, Express Espresso, Flaming Mocha, Aquatic Lung Americana. I think it's this one, right? No. Wait, does... Is Laser Vision? Oh, of course it's Laser Vision. Duh. <laughs> uh, wait, I think... how I've got... Where's me potion box? This is all the minerals. I need to, uh, I need to get this into the museum. We do have a potion box... With potions in it. I don't actually know what potions are, are in there. But, um... One diamond for five potions. Okay, let's take, like... For... One, two, three, four, five. 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 We'll take 20. If 20 enough, we might as well just fill, fill it up, right? Take another one, two, three, four, five. Take another seven. Seven and then over tip cup, right? So that's going to be one diamond, two diamond, three diamond, four diamond, five diamond, six diamond. <laughs> it sounded like a song. Six diamonds. All right, sweet. So that's vision done. We will have night vision in the ancient city if you just joined us guys We're about to go raiding of an ancient city for the first time. I've never been into an ancient city I don't know what happens. I'm scared, but we're after trims We have to find them too. So next on the agenda for the help situation guys, you need you guys need to help me uh, Help explain how to find an ancient city. Is there an easy way to find an ancient city? Diamond per stack, hey, eh? how much do we need how many stacks do we need guys? <laughs> A lot? I, I, I guess a lot. <laughs> Snowballs to distract the warden. The warden. That's a genius idea. Under mountions. 
Dudes, you know where I think I know where an ancient city is? Do you guys remember when we went to strip mine for, I think it was em um, Deep Slate Emerald Ore? I believe there's an ancient city there, but it's kind of close to the perimeter there. And I suspect maybe Doc's got his German claws into it already. Check the bargain bin. Oh yeah, the bargain bin. Four stacks for a diamond. Ooh, nice. Okay, here's the bargain bin, people. Yeah, let's get four stacks for a diamond. That sounds really good. So, one, two, three, four. That's four diamonds. And one, five diamonds. I, I guess we don't have space for all the wool. We could put some wool in here. And there's some more. That's probably enough wool, let's be fair. It's quite a lot, right? That's a lot of wool. <laughs> That's a lot. We don't need more wool, man. That's, that's fine. Uh, that, that's more than enough wool. We've got wool for days. <laughs> People, we can never be too prepared. You know, we can never be too prepared. Let's be honest. You know what I'd like to do, guys? I want to I wanna give Corellis a, a feel-good moment. Let's add the diamonds that we took from Gigalogs back into the system. Got to make it look legitimate, though, you know? There we go, we can put some more in there. So when Corrales comes to check profits, he'll be like, Oh, we made tons of profits. Wait a minute, these are royal emeralds still being spent. That's outrageous. Somebody underpaid there, did you spot that? I wonder who that could have been. Hmm. You know what, let's make, let's add these to these stacks and confuse Corrales. He's going to be like, whoa, someone overpaid. <laughs> someone really overpaid. Nice. Very nice. Oh, if it spawned in 119, it won't have the trims. Okay, so it's 120 only. So we have to go and find our own cities. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. I think we have spawn set uh, back on Gigacorp Island. Gigacorp Island is 15,000 blocks out and probably just a stone throw away from fresh 120 chunks. So let's go back to our island. Then choose a direction. And um, and that way we can um, we can find ourselves a fresh city, right? We do need to go repair stuff though. Whoopsie! There we go. Let's just head to the Enderman farm, do some repairing real quick. Let's repair the wings for sure. I'd like to repair my other wings too. By the way, guys, I don't think you guys have seen this on stream yet because I yeah, this is the first time we've come to the end on stream since it got since this area got upgraded. How sweet is this? Look how cool this is. Like, uh, the stronghold... Finally, after a year, the, the stronghold was actually given a proper treatment. And now it's the end. Isn't this sweet? I, I love it. It's amazing. Yo, Tondren, thank you for the, uh, the party raid. And just the haze four months in a row. Hey, hazy boy, what's happening, baby? What's happening? I'm gonna give you a hootin' and a tootin'. What's happening, dude? <laughs> hey, Peter Paul. Thank you very much for the gifted sub to Peter Paul. I don't know. It's uh, no. Hold on. I messed it up. PayPal, nineteen ninety one, with the gifted sub to Peter Paul, nineteen ninety one. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you to Nimmy Cat also for the fifteen months in a row. Happy Friday, Ren. Happy Friday to you, Nims. And Corbay eighty three, six months, half a year of support, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, also, uh, Mirrors is here with the two months in a row. Your streams and vods get me through the school this year. Thanks for all you do, Hardy Face. I'm so very uh, glad to hear that, Marissa. I hope things are going well for you at school also. Right, let's go do some repairing, guys. Yeah, Jevin did an amazing job, man. Amazing job on that and uh, love the new uh, trim shop. Jevin is on fire at the moment, man. He's killing it. Beautiful. You do love to see it, friends. Uh, right, where is the Swardies? While we're here, we might as well repair everything that can be repaired, right? This, that doesn't have mending on it. Let's repair the Gigaho. This needs repairage. This needs repairage. Do we have like a spare sh open shulker box? This is the uh, gen this is the Empire server's Genesis block, so we don't want to touch that. Uh, I just I just want to get the wool out of my inventory. <laughs> There's so much wool in the inventory. We overspent. Oh, we got to put the swift sneak on too. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we got another uh, another wings in here that we can repair. That doesn't have um, Unbreaking 3 on it. That does not have Unbreaking 3 on it. 
Also, there's a totem in here that should not be in here. And we can put the totem in the totem box. In the totem box right now is wool also. Dang it, we've got so much stinking wool, people. Uh, hostile creatures down. Alright, let's get preparing. You know what we do need though, guys, is food. I think we'll take golden carrots. I think I've got like a like a shulker box of golden carrots back at the island somewhere. Yeah, we'll find some golden carrots. Alright, into the belly and the balls. Let's go, please. Let's get all of this stuff prepared. What else do we need to know about the... Um... <laughs> do you have a silk touch hoe? No, I don't, but... Should do. For leafage. Right? Yeah, for, leaf, for leaf, leafage. Wait. Oh, the silk touch hoe to pick up the wool? Is that what you guys are talking about? Why do we need silk touch hoe? What am I missing? I mean, I don't really care about picking up the wool. Oh, to pick up the screecher things. Oh, they take out the shriekers the fastest. I... I get you, I get you. I don't have one of those, I believe. Oh, it's to pick up the deep city blocks. I see, I see. Pick up the skulk. And yeah, wool is shears, obviously. It's not hoes, right? Yes. Um, is it like really necessary? Do we... I'm not really interested in the blocks right now. I don't really care. But, I mean, can I break the, the skulk with a silk touch pickaxe? Like, why like why must it be a hoe? Like, can we not just break it with a pickaxe? <laughs> Back to gigalogs to steal diamonds for silk touch. <laughs> okay, the hoe is just the fastest. Okay. Oh, does the pickaxe take forever? I get you. We should probably do it, right? I feel like this is a thing that it's a pain, but it's worth doing. It's like one of those things in life, you know? Kind of like taxes. Like, you don't really want to do it, but if you don't, you go to jail. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things. Need the hoe, not the silk touch. Okay. Ren, here's the plan. Sneak in. Sneaky sneak in. Open chest. Elytra out. Repeat. Don't die. I mean, I... Yeah. It's the don't die bit that worries me. It, it will certainly not be funny if we summon a warden. No. No, no, no. It will be the opposite of funny. Especially when we've now turned on the webcam. Efficiency 5 ho. Well, we got one of those. This is an efficiency 5 fortune 3 ho. Mm-hmm. There's a serious ho. Let's repair the hoe while we've got it here. Also, we need to repair the shield. I don't want to take this. Sh this is the shield of the king, though. This is like a very special shield. I don't know if we should take this shield. Hmm. I was going to donate the shield to the um, to the museum. Because that is the original shield of the king. Might not be the best idea to take it with. But, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained, friends. I don't think we're going to die, honestly. I think we'll be fine. I'm just going to play, like, ultra cautious. You know? I am a professional after all. You know? Have you not faith in this professional? The shield won't do much. Actually, that's true. We're sneaking in, sneaking out, aren't we? We're, we're dive bombing those uh, those chests. Uh, Flory, brand new subscriber. Hey, Flory. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, you love seeing the new subscribers. There's so few of them these days. <laughs> it's just, it's all the old subs hanging around. There's no new blood around here, man. Thank you, Flory. I appreciate you. And Bella Lou is back at it. Hey, Bella. Nice to see you again. Thank you very much for the biddies. And happy Friday to you also. Thank you very much. You know what, guys? You get a hootin' and a tootin' for the hootin' and the tootin' sake of tootin' and hootin'. Um, let's put this on this. The sneaky sneaks on the sneaky pant. All right. And we'll name the pant sneaky pant of sneaky... Sneaky sneaks. Sneaky pant of sneaky sneaks. I think that's the perfect name for a pant. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think, but that's. Uh, I don't think you can make a better name than that for pant. 
Uh, let's repair that axe just for completion's sake, right? We need full achievements uh, for this particular repair run. If we haven't repaired any everything, we don't get 100%. Yeah, shield's not going to save us from a warden. No, it is not. Okay. Alright, uh, why is all this stuff in here? This is supposed to be stuff... Oh, we could repair this also. What is this thing? The nether hatsicles. Yes. This is not repairing. Oh, it does not have mending. Never mind. Never you mind. Right, this is for armor, stuffs, and extra wing action. This is pickaxes. Oh, we need to repair the pickaxe too. Hold on. This is the most efficient repairing mission of all time. Here we go. That's repaired. I don't think I'm going to take the axe with. I'll take the sword so we can put the axe back. This hose, just efficiency 5 mending. I guess I don't want to risk losing the Fortune 3 hoe, so I'll put the Fortune 3 hoe back. We'll repair this one. We just care about efficiency 5, I think. As you go in and alert the warden. It's not going to happen. Everything's going to be fine. You will see I am a professional. We don't need an axe. We don't need a pick. Although, it, we need to repair the pick, though. More ender balls. Ah, thank you. Wait, is this repairing? This does not repair. Never you mind, we don't need any more balls. This hat can go in here. And uh, this is the hoe that we shall take with us. Do we need a shovel? Let's take a silk touch shovel just in case. These can go back in here. We keep this. We're going to take some ender pearls for sure. Just in case things go horribly wrong and we need to uh, press the eject button. I used to have an ender balls uh, shulker box, but that's gone somewhere. That's gone That's gone walkies. So we'll keep three stacks of ender balls on us. It's more ender balls than anybody ever needs, to be honest. That should do us well, though. All right, everything else, we got the... Stu okay, let's head back to the island. We can sort everything out when we get there. All of this chaos is uh, causing me um, anxiety. Get out of here. Back to the island. Let's get ready. Yes, shulker box for loot. That's a very good idea, T-Rose. Uh, for sure. By the way, Peanut Gallery, I saw you in the very beginning of the stream turning off the emote only chat. And we're going to go full cam to say hello to PG. Hey, hey, PG, how you doing, baby? I hope you're doing okay. Everything good with you? And uh, always, always awesome to see you here in the stream. I hope uh, life is treating you okay. And a uh, big shout out to Peanut Gallery. Big loves. Big loves. Big loves to Peanut Gallery. And to all of the other amazing Patreons on the Patreon server. And uh, to all of the moderators, of course, too. Hey, mods. What's up? Love you guys, man. Love you guys. Pushing all the wrong buttons. Okay, there we go. Snowy! Hello, baby. What's happening, baby? <laughs> Snowy's the best. Okay, mission one. Carrots. Find some carrots. And let us find the carrot the carrots. I believe I have a full shulker box of carrots here somewhere, guys. I mean, I don't think we need that many carrots. Like two stacks of golden carrots will be perfect. Also, just keeping eyeballs open for anything else that we might need. We, we're not going to need torches, right? Because we're going to be doing um, night vision potions. So we don't need torches. We do need a bed. Let's remember to take a bed. Um, I don't see... I probably passed a stream of brain. I've definitely passed golden carrots. It's a guarantee. There's one stack of golden carrots. So that's good. I'm sure there is a, a two less stack somewhere. I think two stacks is going to be our, our sweet spot, guys. That's what we need. I know there's a, an entire shulker box of them, though. There, we, Well, it's not an entire shulker box, but it's lots. Let's take all of this. We put it into the food shulker, into the giga fridge. Into the giga fridge with the last of our giga pies. That can go in there. Um, let's start sorting out our shulker boxes, too. I think we shall leave the shield behind. I don't want to lose that. That's an important bit of Hermacraft memorabilia. Let's refill the um, this shulker box with wool. This is a TCG shulker box, but we shall use it for wool for this particular adventure. Giga shields are fully loaded. There's our potions. I don't know where my potion shulker box is, though. I 
I 100% have a potion shulker box, but I don't know where it is, which is annoying. Um, must have left it somewhere. We can take this red one. This is empty. Let's use this one for potions. So that's going to be potions. Night vision for days, people. We can give ourselves laser vision for the next seven years. With this, with this, not, with this amount of juice. <laughs> right. This is going to... Will's going to stay in the inventorize. Uh, juice is going to stay in the inventorize. We need a couple of shulker boxes for loot. This will stay in the inventorize. These things go back... Golden carrots, all of these go back into the end chest. We will take an end of chest with us, obviously, because we're professional. This will stay with us. Okay, Giga Shield stays with us. Looking good. Um, what about rockets? Let's make sure we are... Okay, we've got like almost 2,000 rockets. We're fine. 2,000 rockets is good. We are going to need to go on a little uh, expedition though, right? So let's just... Let's stock up this side of the thing with rockets. We've got a bed in the inventory already. Excellent. Let's get an ender chest on our hotbar in case something really stinking foul happens. Let's get the hoe ready also to get rid of those thingamajongies. Also, why? what's this? Why do I have a shears? Confusing. That's arrived out of I don't know where. Let's get that back in there. Sweet. Okay. I think, dudes, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to go. Peggy the Pirate says, do my eyes deceive me? That's a Shulker monster. <laughs> Listen, Peggy. <sighs> my Shulker boxes might be all over the show. But please take a moment to notice how everything else is in perfect wor working order. Every strand of this beautiful hair is in place. I showered, not... An hour ago for all of you fine ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. You're welcome. Look at my magnificent bookshelf. Everything in perfect, beautiful working order. We've got an X-Wing. We've got a Mandalorian Lego face. We've got a Rendigate Dog plushie. Now unavailable. We've got a 100,000 100, subscriber YouTube thing. Which way does the hand go? We've got Obi's first toy. We've got our very first microphone. We've got a YouTube monkey. We have my favorite Magic the Gathering commander deck. And we have my favorite Star Wars ship of all time. The X-Wing. That's a TIE fighter, by the way. I've mixed them up. So yes, the Shulker boxes might be all over the show, uh, Peggy. But at least life is getting auto-sorted through filters. You know what I mean? Uh, by the way, for those of you guys who have been around here for a really long time, you'll know exactly what this is called. It is called a progodivaginal delaying of the inevitable. Yes. Yes, you guys know what this is. We are about to undertake a very difficult task. It's probably going to result in me losing everything. And so I shall delay for a bit. Mm-hmm. It's a shelf to show people that you think you're not a proper nerd. Does this look like a nerdy shelf to you? There is nothing nerdy about this shelf. Okay? You, oh, you guys can't actually see the Rendog plushie very well in this camera angle, can you? That's okay. Anyway, uh, dudes, we need to find ourselves an ancient city now. That's mission number two. Um, what's the time? It's nine o'clock on the dot. Which means we're an hour into the stream. Friends, I'm going to go refill my sparkling water with uh, lime cordial and ice, if you don't mind. <laughs> the ice has melted. It is another very warm day in England, but not as warm as, as the last time we streamed. It's actually quite pleasant this evening. I, I've got the fan on, though. Um, but I do want to go and top up my beverage. Uh, so I'm going to leave you here with the iron farm for a few minutes. And uh, we will be back very, very shortly. All right, dear friendos? Please do not go anywhere. Um, we will be back in five minutes. Go get yourself uh, a beverage. Go and do your business in the bathroom. You know, whatever you need to do, go get it done. And um, when we get back, we shall be going and dying in an ancient city. Yay. Joy. All right, guys. See you in five.
All right, I'm back. Oh my goodness, guys. You know what I've realized? I've, ha I've had a terrible realization while I was making my beverage. We can half talk some nonsense on this channel, can't we? The amount of twaddle that gets spoken during a two hour Rendog stream is outrageous. I'm not sure where all this twaddle comes from. It's not my brain, it's being beamed into me from somewhere else. Because surely one man cannot have this much twaddle in him. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Right, um, <laughs> Ancient City, let's go find one. <laughs> um, we need to load new chunks, don't we? Um, that way is our mangrove farm. There is my ender pearl box. Hold on. We found it. Yeah, there's the ender balls. Nice. Let's get that back into here. And everything else is fine. Yeah, we've got Giga Coolers full of potions also, as you can see. So I didn't actually spot that. Stupid. Also, that just lone elven cookie is kind of annoying. Let's put that into the The twaddle the keeps us coming back for more or less than three. <laughs> where did that come from that means some, somebody's been up to no good whenever that that lady voice talks there's been shenanigans and yes the shenanigans are certainly a foot from Cezero with the five thousand biddies so that's a very very generous um very very generous tip thank you very very much uh, the twaddle keeps us coming back for more Thank you very much, Sarah. That's so kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Thank you. Uh, Elk Maiden is here for the four months also. I didn't give permission for time to pass so fast. When did this happen? Don't look at me. I've done nothing. PG, thank you for the biddies. Renford, you have just summoned Murphy with that show of confidence. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Um... <laughs> The twaddle keeps us coming back for more. Oh, Zero, you just made me chuckle. Uh, right, we this way we don't go. We've been that way a lot. Um, I don't think we've been this way a lot, you know. This way is kind of like a dead area for us. We really haven't explored out there very far. Render distance at 28, but what is the fog at 32? Okay, I think we're at like server render distance right now. So yeah, let's just go this way. Let's go this way. This is going west. Although west is kind of heading toward spawn-ish. Not really. We're 14,000 on the Z. So we, we're pretty much in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> the Rendog plushie is who really runs the stream. <laughs> yeah. That that little fella up there is uh, who actually controls this, uh, this absolute nonsense here. Hey, Sasha, what's happening? Lovely to see Sasha in chat. And a big sh shout out to the Sasha, one of the uh, the mega OGs who gets a hootin' and a tootin' and a scoop. <laughs> the plushie and the chair work together. They input nonsense into Ren's mind and make him twaddle. <laughs> I like how you've now turned twaddle into a verb. Very nice. This evening shall we twaddle. <laughs> yes. What's twaddle? It's a good question. I'm not sure how one would define twaddle. It, what's happening right now is complete twaddle. Basically, it's 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 just nonsense. It's if nonsense is here, twaddle is the step above nonsense. So below nonsense is tomfoolery, right? Below tomfoolery is shenanigans. So we go shenanigans, tomfoolery, nonsense, twaddle. That's the scale. <laughs> a twaddling we shall go. Is this a mountain? This looks like a mountain. Is this... Wait, wait, is this a mountain biome? Taiga. This is a taiga. This is not a mountain, is it? Like, when you guys say mountain, you mean like uh, like a proper big mountain, right? Like a big one. Let's go west. No, not a mountain. Okay. You guys shout when you see a mountain, all right? I'm, I'm just going to be chilling. I'm chilling. I got my fresh cup of posh water juice. I'm chilling. Is this a mountain? I'm dribbling all over myself. That's... 
drinking on camera, guys. It sucks. Your best bet is the Stony Peaks biome. Okay. <laughs> no bone flakes. Wait, were we were we supposed to bring a tickler? The sand tickler? Because I forgot one of those. Uh, Lotus Raven, thank you very, very much for the biddies. Love you always. Keep having fun. Thank you very much, Lotus. That is so kind of you. Uh, and again, Zero, thank you so much for the biddies and the gifteds. You're just, um, you're too kind to me. Thank you. We can make one summer, but we need a, we need a copper ingot, which is a bit of a pain. But yes, we can make one, if we must. I have a sneaky suspicion we might be nearing the boat race. Hmm. I don't know. Hold on, let's explore this mountainous area. This feels mountainous. How do we get home? Tactical death warp. Frozen peaks will work. Ah. Okay. These are not frozen peaks though, right? These are snowy plains. But frozen peaks. Let's explore the uh, frozen bit. Let's check out the biomes around all the snow. See if we can find the frozen peaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not high enough. This needs to go way up. It's okay. We're chilling. We got tons of rockets. We got tons of water juice. Tons of food. Fully repaired elytra. We're fine. Yeah, we got a bed. Lovely pink bed. Ready for sleepage. Meadow mountains also. Okay, sweet. Good to know. I mean, there's a lot. It sounds like there's a lot. Like, we, we should be fine trouble with this stream is that whenever we try and do this minecraft is just like nah 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 you're gonna suffer right like on sunday when we went looking for 120 stuff with the uh, the hermits took us like three hours to find a desert a desert three hours insane kush says explore in a northeast direction helmet uh, that's actually a good point. I don't know how much armor we have right now. Oh, Scar fell from a high place, derp. I might have failed to bring armor. Yes. Well, there's a helmet in there. Okay. It's fine. B-Dub says it's okay. <laughs> Classic Scar. I mean, to me, I don't, it doesn't even affect me anymore, you know? Whenever I see Scar has died, I'm just like, oh, yeah, another one. Mm -hmm. Happens every day a few times, without fail. But we are looking for uh, an ancient city. So we're looking for biomes that we know ancient cities spawn underneath. So we're looking for mountains, basically. Mountain biomes. This is, uh, we can also find, um, ancient cities below snowy peaks, or frozen peaks, rather. So, we're looking around this frozen, these frozen biomes for a frozen peak. Uh, Lukey Power says, what can you do with rain coins? Unfortunately, nothing. Mm-hmm. Rain coins were set up, oh, this looks like a mountain. Is this a mountain? Wow, this is really cool. Whatever it is, it's really cool. Is this a mountain? Whoops. Uh, this is planes. These are planes. Um, when channel points first got set up on Twitch, I set up Raincoin, and I just assumed that Twitch would make channel points awesome. And then they just didn't make them awesome. So, yeah. This is not right. This is nothing, right? This is just a planes. This kind of feels... What do you guys think? Is this like ancient city city vibes? What do we think about this? This is pretty tall for a plains. Yeah, Jay, yeah, you can hi un you can you can highlight messages. <laughs> you can highlight messages, yeah. Use the Giga drone to see underground. We could do that and Kush we might if we if we get pushed. If we get pushed too far by the game, we'll we'll uh, 
we'll get the Gigabug out. But we'll try and avoid the Gigabug for now. You know, it's a little bit cheaty, uh, in my opinion. I'm the worst at finding them, but I know what to do once I find an ancient city. Okay. Well, I don't. I've never been in one. Well, I, I have I have briefly during one of the Last Life series, but we're talking like in and out. I mean, you know, it was not a good time, if you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> Etho has joined the game. Hi, Etho. <laughs> Let's continue west. Gonna love the ancient city, says Summer. It's very safe. Hmm. Ooh, these have got to be new chunks, right? So we do get trims in in ships, too. Let's check out this boat. Either. Party face. Let's have a look. Is there a trim in here? No trims. Very difficult to know whether this has been explored or not, but uh, moss blocks, nothing that looks like a trim to me. No idea if this has been explored though, you know what I mean? So, But we'll take a look at the uh, ships as we come across them. Let's continue west is where we were headed. See if we can find a Mount Yen. What about these things? Are there trims in these uh, in these pillager, villager, pillager huts? Hello, everybody. Don't mind me. Just yoinking. Yes, smithing templates. Those are not... That's I don't know what that is, but it's, we're, we're yoinking it. Smell you later. Is, it, is this good? Sentry armor trim. Sweet. We got sentry armor trims. Okay, we got our first trims. Nice. I think that's legitimately the first trims I've ever found in Minecraft. So, so thank you guys for being here. History has been made. We found our first trims. Oh, joy. Uh, the smithing template is the trim. Okay, I see. I see, I see. How's the elytra looking? Not good. We might have to slay some cods soon. Hey, Zappers, what's happening, baby? Nice to see you. Yeah, and it looks like this area isn't looted. I, it looks like we're smack bang in the middle of uh, fresh chunkage. Do these things have trims? Oh, these do. Oh, no, no, no. It's this, uh, There's sand that can be tickled around those things, right? That's how that works. What about the portal? I don't think the portal has them, right? Oh, the drowns are not happy with me right now. Drowns, chill your faces. I'm not doing anything untoward. Hello? Is that lag? Oh, that's lag. That is chest lag. Any more chests here? Yeah, we got to tickle the. Uh, t we don't have a. We don't have a tickler, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna get in trouble. Sorry, mods. We dudes, we don't have time to tickle gravel. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> hey, six five five, what's up? Love just singing in the star song in season six. What in? Um, what's this? In Hermit Gang. Hermit Gang, 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 Hermit Gang. Oh, he's got a, he's got a, it's not worth it. Ladies get in line, the diggity be on the way. Cleo don't know who she met and with. Can't remember the words. Yeah, Hermit Gang is so awesome. <laughs> I, I believe that collectively, as the Hermitcraft group, Hermit Gang must be like the top three best things we've ever done as a group, right? Yeah, Impulse's... I, I really liked Impulse's rap. He gave us an exclusive preview uh, during our last stream together. And uh, it was pretty awesome. Uh, guys, the Hermits are talking about trims being found in Birchwood forests. Is that true? Like, you have to look for... Oh, but it, that that's... You need the tickle brush for those ones, right? Nothing in there. Oh, there are hose in here, though. Golden hose. I don't really care about those. I've never seen, like, one of the... Uh, the trail ruins. It's terracotta. Yeah, I've never seen one. 
no idea what that looks like or even like what to look out for because i've never seen one. i'll try to keep my eyes open while we venture in this direction this looks mountain e kind of looks like a little hand is this like a little mountain wait what is this oh isn't this cute look at this guys it's like the smallest little savannah biome of all time <laughs> this is savannah Wins look how look how teensy tiny this little savannah is <laughs> it's literally just a a tree i got a screenshot this for twitter that's amazing look at this tiny little savannah it's so cute <laughs> there's no savannah here look this isn't savannah Oh, there's a little bit over here too, but it's fine. Oh, bless the little savannah. It's so cute. Look at this. There's just one spruce tree here. What the heck? Wait a minute. Dude, okay, this is this has got to be the smallest tager of all time. Is this even possible to be... Wait. Okay, this is the smallest tager of all time. We need another screenshot. Smallest tager of all time. Microbiomes? You ain't kidding. <laughs> They're like just big enough for one tree. Madness. All right, I'm not seeing any of the, any of the terracotta thingy-majongs. And we still have not come across a mountain. We've been going west for a while. There's more snow. Let's go see if we can find some frozen peaks. <laughs> that take has definitely got a big personality. Exactly. It's not the size of the biome that counts, people. It's the jazz of, the, of it. Meadow? Is Meadow good? Sky Noble, what's up? Yeah, mental health is much better at the moment, my friend. Thank you so much for asking. Is Meadow good, guys? This is... this. I think this is Meadow. Is this Meadow? No, this is Plains. There's lots of different flowers in this Plains, though. Which is uh, a little bit weird. Like, kind of looks like a Meadow, but apparently not. Hey, Chamomile. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate it. Sup mine a lot, first time chatter. What's happening, baby? Welcome to the stream. I'm doing very well, thank you. I, you know what? I've been very much looking forward to today's stream. Um, I've been quite motivated to stream recently. I've just been having a lot of fun with you guys, so uh, I actually couldn't wait to stream today. Um, I uh, got a video out today on YouTube. I was spending most of the morning on that. And um, had a shower and got straight to streaming as fast as possible. And uh, having an absolute blast. Hope you guys are enjoying the show too and um if you are new here and maybe you want more of this nonsense i don't know why you would want to watch any of this twaddle but if you would like to watch more of the twaddle hit the follow button and then you know you get a notification when we go live here on the twitch also if you are new here our vod's are for subscribers only and if you want to watch any of our vod say you miss a stream and you want to catch the stream again um head over to youtube.com forward slash rendog tv where i'll be uploading the vod's there 24 hours later so there'll be a slight delay but if you uh if you can't subscribe or you don't want to subscribe you can get the vod's that way <laughs> raven thank you my friend appreciate it face reveal i mean i've revealed this face many times that is a very cool shipwreck you don't like often see shipwrecks like this that's super cool i'm getting so many screenshots of cool stuff we're discovering look at this look at this this is like the most awesome starter base ever right like you like uh you start a new world if i found this in a brand new world this is where i'm living for like three weeks so cool can we get a trim please no trims but a diamond don't mind if i do also let's uh, get some juice into the elytra Hup. it's not a lot of juice but you know it's fine we found some trims 
we found some trims. Nice. Coast armor trim. Very nice. Okay, so that's two of those bad boys. Beautifuls. Anything more in this area? What about igloos? Do igloos have trims? Let's keep our eyeballs open for like uh, interesting discoveries. Oh, those are flying sh Yeah, it's the flying ship trims, right? That's awesome. <laughs> we found trims in a in a the most awesome you know what i want like a really cool screenshot of this actually because like are those mountains those might be that might be mm, hold on i think we might have discovered what we're looking for here let me see if i can get a nice screenshot though hold on oh dang it hold on i want to land on top of one of these spikes there we go and Let's get a sweet screenshot for Twitter. We found trims in that boat. <laughs> the ship in the Furious. It wasn't our first trims, but it was our second trims. We found our second trims in this boat. That's super cool. This looks like a mountain to me. <laughs> Lotus with the biddies and such a handsome face. Thank you, Lotus. Is this a mountain? Windswept gravelly hills. That is not a mountain. Looks like a perfect dual land art terrain. Yeah, it really does. This is not going to work, right, guys? Yeah, I mean, the new, like, um, Sky Cools, the new Minecraft terrain is just so amazing. They've done such a great job on the engine, uh, in my opinion. I think it's, it's really great right now. This looks very mountainous to me. Uh, I don't know about you. The water's pouring for the first time, so these are fresh chunks. Snowy Tager. Guys, is this not a mountain? How is this a ma not a mountain? Pretty broken terrain, which means ancient cities. I mean, we could take a look. This is promising, right? It's going to be the easiest way to take a look over here. Probably just finding a, a way down. Like a crevasse. A crevasse. How do we feel? How's the um, the ancient city radar going, guys? Does this feel like ancient city-ish? It's a lot of broken terrain here. Here's like, might be a big entry hole. Oh, that's, that's a lot of creepers. Nothing that takes us cleanly down though, which is annoying. Might just have to dig straight down, yeah. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. We shall set spawn here. Um, did we? Ha we did. We did. We didn't bring a shulker. Oh, that's what we forgot. We forgot a shulker box for for loot, didn't we? We didn't bring a loot box. That's annoying. Um, also, all of those ender pearls I didn't bring. Why did we not bring a loot box? I don't think I have, like, any other spare... I thought I did bring a, a loot box, but apparently not. Okay, anyway, whatever. Uh, we're gonna take a couple of these to sip on. I guess we can use, like, one of these... Uh, let's use the scaffolding thing as the loot box. That goes in there. Spawn is set, right? Is That's spawn is set. Let's see. It's respawn point set. Okay, cool. So that goes in there. Um, let's drop off all of this stuff, too. We want the wool, though. Why? No, we're taking all this with. Jeez. Absolute amateur. Creeper. Dude. Where did you come from? Where? You shall give me your head for your insolence. Oh. All right. I think we probably need some wool now. Also, wool... Okay, wool has been received. Let's just get some more potions also. And the Giga Shields are coming with us. We're taking these with us. We don't have a shulker box for loot. Which is annoying. Uh, tell you what. Let's do this. We don't have a lot of stuff in here. Also, let's put the helmet on now. 
Here we go. This can go in here. And we shall use this giga rack for loot. All right, problem solved. Professional. What can I say? What can I say, people? All right, so we're gonna just dig straight down. Is that the plan? Uh, more rockets though, right? Yeah, let's just make sure we have more. I'm so nervous, dudes. I've never been into one of these things. I'm panicking now. I mean, my last experience was in the um, in the life series where I went I went down there with like Big B, and Big B is like super panicky also. So I was just panicking. He was panicking. It was a mess. <laughs> I don't know what was happening. All right, we got the hoe ready. Probably put the hoe there, right? We have easy access to the hoe. And let's do this thing. Take more potions. Well, we're, we're taking our ender chest with us, so we'll be fine. All right, here we go. Let's go take it out. You can always fly out if things get too scary, right? We're going to dig down double block. Because, you know, it's safer this way. Also, no torches. Let's sip on the night vision potion. Nice. Down we go. It's always just chaos. Snowballs. We did forget the balls. Yes. Uh, is this silk touch? This is silk touch. Hold on. Do I have a non silk touch? I have a fortune two. Uh, fortune two. Yes. Okay. Let's get some snowballs. I think the snowballs is a very good idea. Can use the snowballs to distract the warden. If we spawn a warden, we can distract it with the balls. Wardens don't like balls, apparently. Or they do like the balls. They like the snowballs. <laughs> they hear them like, ooh, that sounds like a ball. I'll have some of that. How many balls do we need? 32. A stack of balls? Let's get a stack of balls. 16 more and we're good. Sorry, mods. Love you. You know what I've learned about my beautiful moderators, guys? Can we just take a moment before I, I go down and, and probably die and embarrass myself? You know what I've learned about my moderators? It's much easier for me to uh, ask my moderators for forgiveness than it is to ask them for permission. Love you guys. Hey, Bill Nye, welcome to the stream. Let's sleep in case I die and then respawn and then a creeper blows me up because it's night. Right, let's let's go and find the things and the stuffs. We've already found some trim. If you've just joined us, guys, we found some trim in a pirate boat stuck at the top of a frozen, um, like, glacier, which is pretty cool. We found our very first trim in a pillager's outpost, which was pretty cool. And now we are trying to find um, some silence trim in the ancient city. Trying to find an ancient city, though. That's what we're uh, what, what we're up to right now. <laughs> Peanut Gallery's tried to ban the streamer, but uh, it hasn't worked. Love you, PG. Love your face. Right, down we go. Ancient cities rarely spawn under oceans and bodies of water. Okay, well, we're going to take a quick look. Let's have a look. Peter Paul with the biddies. Love you too, bromance. <laughs> hey, Peter, my friend. Twenty to ten UK time, and my three-year-old wakes up and says, "Is that Ren Dog?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless their little heart. That's so cute. Three-year-olds three is a, a great age. It's a really, a really wonderful age, isn't it? Shout out to your three-year-old. I need you and Mythical Sausage to just exist together, <laughs> says Foofy. You know what? I miss, I, miss old, I miss old Sausage. I'd love to do something with him at some point. We'll figure something out. We get on very well. Um, we could just use the Gigabug real quick to have a quick look if we're 
There's nothing here. Dang it. Moving swiftly on. Right. We have learned something, friends. Bodies of water, no good. No good. We need to look elsewhere. Let's just do some dumping. So everything that we need is in the scaffolding box. And let us continue on our hunt. By the way, guys, I did ask you if we can find trims in um, igloos. But I forgot to read. So the question is still on the table. Can we find trims in igloos? <laughs> you and Sausage are getting on well is the less surprising thing I've heard today. Okay, no trims in igloos, so we don't care about igloos. Sorry, igloos, you suck. So um, if, if uh, ancient cities like broken terrain does shattered savannah count do they like shattered savannas thank you mc dude for the party raid and welcome my friend welcome 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 we're currently on the hunt for trims we found four so far there you can see them in the shulker box we found um pirate ship trims and pillager outpost trims so far we are currently on the hunt for an ancient city, though, because we would like to get ourselves some uh, some silence trims. Shattered windswept savannah is not a mountain. Mountains or bad land or plateaus. Okay. Meadows and frozen peaks, not close to water and ocean. Okay, so we actually need to get away from all this water. This is a lot of water. We don't want to be here. We're going back east. We're just going backwards. Let us continue west, which is where we were going. Uh, yeah, we were headed west, weren't we? Yeah, we're headed west. The Real John Jr., three months in a row. Hey, Ren, enjoying the stream in stealth mode at work. Keep up the awesome work. Dude, I used to do exactly the same thing. I used to watch the Yogg's cast in stealth mode. You know how I used to do it? I used to put the... I used to minimize the YouTube screen. The YouTube, like, uh, in, like Chrome browser to, like, really small. And my boss sat behind my left shoulder, like just behind me over there. And my boss could see my screen, right? So I used to put the YouTube, tiny little YouTube Chrome um, screen in the bottom right of my screen down there. So he couldn't see through my head, you know, and it would look like I was working, but I was just watching Oggscast. Professional procrastination tips from Raindog. Uh, Rainy Girl, thank you for the five months and welcome back, girl. Wearing my Gigalog sweatshirt, enjoying a rain stream. Nice start to the weekend. Appreciate you and your kind, clever, welcoming community. Thank you so much, Rainy. Um, very, very kind of you to say. And uh, guys, for those of you guys who missed it a little bit earlier on, while we're just sort of floating along here, very excited to uh, show you guys that our Collector's Edition TCG card is going to be available from the 1st of June on Creo.com. I'm going to be hand signing these cards. Um, if you purchase one of these collector's editions, I will have hand signed it and and I won't be posting it to you, but I'll be posting it back to the card company. We'll then post it. You will get a hand signed card from me. And uh, this is what they look like. That's the art. This is what the, the card looks like. You get it in a really cool like collector's box like this. It's inside of a a, a hard plastic shell so it's it's going to be in mint condition for as long as you keep it in the shell and it will be hand signed and it's going to be awesome so if that is something that you're interested in keep watching my my twitter and links to that will be coming up pretty uh, from the first of july and um i have no idea what the pricing is i think it's uh, from what I read in chat earlier on, it's somewhere around 40 bucks. It's like the price of a plushie, uh, somewhere around there. But I don't know, actually know what the price, the pricing is. But if it's something that you'd like to get um, and you would like to support me, please do consider picking one up. Um, any purchase of a card will uh, support me directly. So uh, that's a great way that you can support if you want to. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. We need to land because uh, we have been invaded. By the beautiful good times with Scar, man. We got uh, Scar Airlines coming in to land at the airport, Rendog Airport. 
Ooh, this is a great opportunity for me to show my good friend Scar my new desk, my new um, bookshelf that I have got behind me. Uh, we've, by the way, Scars out there. Hello, Scars. Hi. We've recently fired up the webcam. We haven't had the face on the stream for a while, but I, I've just moved house and I thought, hey, let's get some Rendog face action happening. You know what I'm saying, people? For the ladies and for the gentlemen and for everybody in between. You know what I'm saying? It's a pleasure, my people, giving you some eye candy on your Friday evenings. But look at this. Look at my beautiful bookshelf, Scar. Isn't it glorious? We have a, a Lego uh, TIE Fighter. We have the Mandalorian Lego bust. I actually sent Scar a, a picture of this already on Discord. We've got my, my, uh, my plushie, my YouTube thing for 100,000 subs. We got my boy Obi's first toy, which was a Wookiee. Can't actually see the Wookiee now, which is unfortunate. Hold on. There we go. Hold on. Oh, you stupid Wookiee. There we go. <laughs> uh, that was my little boy's first toy. This was my first ever microphone that I've made my YouTube career with. I recorded my like first thousand videos on this thing. This is a YouTube monkey. It literally is was I got it I went to the YouTube head office and they gave it to me it's a it has YouTube on a, on a shirt uh, this is my favorite ship in Star Wars of course the X-Wing and this is my favorite Magic the Gathering deck uh, it's a competitive uh, EDH deck so I have nerdify oh and then up here we've got books we've got Lord of the Rings we've got name of the wind series we've got the uh, preacher graphic novels We've got, uh, and some other things also, legend, legend, um, legends of the, Con uh, what is it? Tales of the Condor Legends, which is like the Chinese Lord of the Rings, which I'm trying to read at the moment. So there you go, man. Welcome everybody. Thank you so much, Scar, for that raid. That's a lot of human beings that you've sent in my direction. Friends, we are currently looking for trims. We have discovered, um, these trims in a villager outpost. We discovered these trims in a pirate ship that was literally teetering on top of a frozen pillar in, a, in an icy biome. It was awesome. So the trims we found so far are great, but what we're actually trying to find is an ancient city so that we can get the rarest trims, which is the silence trims. And we've been exploring now for a long time and not discovered an ancient city quite yet. We're looking for the correct type of biome that indicates where an ancient city might spawn these are generally found apparently from uh, that uh, stream is telling me in mountain biomes in frozen peaks biomes meadow biomes plateau biomes wait is this the same ship that we just this is a different ship okay this is the second ship that we found lodged into the side of a uh, of a spike of a icy thing i gotta take i'm taking so many screenshots tonight guys our explorations this evening we are discovering some crazy stuff this is known chunks somebody been here already who's been who's been down here already was did we come down here guys we it might have been us was it scar has scar been down here yep these are these are loaded chunks guys this is this is not good our elytra is going to break also, which is no good either. We need to get some XP fast. Let's destroy some creatures. We need XP. <laughs> We're going to have to head in a different direction though. I think um, all of this has already been pillaged. Steve says, uh, I have the list of trim structures if you need it. If you see something on our explorations that you know has a trim, just shout in chat. I'm reading chat right now. However, it looks like... Okay, where are we? Minus 7,000, minus 11,000. I mean, surely nobody's been out here. Surely. This is kind of heading back to spawn, though. I think I want to go north... Northwest. Let's go northwest. Hey, Skittles. How's your day been? My day's been very good. Thank you very much. Been chilled. Uh, managed to get a video out on my channel today, which is really, really good. Uh, been working on my my mental health these last couple of weeks and starting to feel a, a, a lot better and uh, was very much looking forward to streaming this evening oh this has definitely been pillaged though right like there's no doubt 
Hello, pillagers. Uh, my apologies. I shall yoink anything in here that's good. There's nothing in here that's good. Smell you later, fools. This is where we explored with uh, Cub. Oh, we were here with Cub and Azuma. Oh, dang it. Oh, is this a mountain? Frozen Peaks. Sorry, that might have been a bit loud. Guys, it's Frozen Peaks. We definitely didn't go ancient city hunting with uh, with the crew. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dudes, this might be it. Fresh water flow. Fresh water flow, guys. Undiscovered. That was an undiscovered chunk right there. Excellent, excellent. Okay, okay, okay. Let's set up somewhere. All right, bed. End chest. No, we want the we want an ender chest with us. Uh, we don't want to take this with. But we, there's stuff in here for our adventures. Potions of night vision. Snowballs to distract the wardens that we will inevitably, um, inevitably spawn. This is our. We're going to use this shulker box for loot. Extra totems. You know what? We don't want to take all these totems with us. That's really stupid. Let's take, like, uh, a, a spare two totems with us. Why would we take all the totems with us? That's really dumb. Also, the same with the potions. Why take all the potions? That doesn't make any sense. Just take ender chest. That gives us access to the potions. I am idiot. Uh, we don't need more rockets. We don't need more ender balls. This is for loot. We take all of this. We don't need all these shovelays. Why do I have so many shovelays? I'm supposed to be a professional. Just need one shovel, eh? We need lots of balls for this <laughs> adventure. Snowballs, ender balls. And these are kind of like balls, also. <clears throat> uh, ender chest, affirmative. Okay, I think we're good to go, guys. Pickaxe, hoe, diamond sword, shovel, balls, potion, night vision, carrots, balls rockets excellent wool whoopsie forgot about the wool yes most important is wool completely forgot about the wool where did where did we put, even put the wool um, wait whoopsie did i lose the wool did we leave the wool behind guys oh no no there's the wool never mind panic averted we got wool. Tons of wool. Alright. Um, how much wool do we need? You know what? Wool is going to go into the ender chest. Why do I have so many ender pearls on me? This is an unnecessary amount of ender pearls. One stack. Let's clean up the inventory a bit so that we actually have space for loot. Right? I mean, this is outrageous. I'm terrible at this game. I should just uninstall this game, honestly, guys. It's outrageous, man. Okay, there we go. That's better. Did we even... Did I even set spawn? I don't think so. Um, respawn point set. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Are we ready, everybody? Whew. I'm nervous, man. I'm stressing. <laughs> I am stressing. Goodness. Whew. Okay. Um, let's take a screenshot of the coordinates. Just in case things go horribly wrong. Let us go try find ourselves an ancient ancient city, friends. Let us drink that potion and just go down, I suppose, as far as possible. Uh, I'm going to work on repairing the elytra on the way down or so. Because this elytra is not looking good right now. I, I kind of want my shield now, but I think with night vision enabled, we should be okay. Let's just try and get some XP here. There we go. I'm going to repair the armor a little bit too. we got to get down to minus 51 to find the ancient city. So we got a long way down to go. Armor is all repaired now. Elytra is still looking a little bit squiffy. Sorry, dude. Spider, dude. Seriously. Man, night vision is so OP in this game. <laughs> Isn't it? Like, night vision is nuts. Like, why would you ever cave without night vision? 
asks the mine the Minecraft professional of 12 years who never uses night vision. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we're into deep slate. That looks like skulk. We Oh, wait, what's happening? Oh yeah, we must remember that it is it is completely dark around here, isn't it? Okay. This is not good. This is not good. I I feel like we actually should have brought some torches. Should we have brought This is noise. We're making noise. This is bad, right? This is bad, right? Hold on. Out of my face, dude. Okay. We've got we've got sneak uh, swift sneak going. Right? We did put that on our trousers. Yeah, swift sneak three. So I can hold shift. Oh, okay. There's one of those things. There's lots of these things. Okay. How do I do this, guys? Okay, the mobs don't spawn. Oh, I see what we do. Wool to get to these things, and then we break them with the with the hoe. <gasps> they get so cross when you break, like when you just make any noise. They get so cross. Okay, that made them really cross. These things we have to worry about, right? Okay, they only matter if they trigger the, 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 the shrieker. Have we messed up already? Dudes, I can't hear anything. Wait, I need to turn the music off for this. I think I might need to get my headphones on. I, I, I can't, I, I don't know what's going on. Wait. We're good? Turn on captions? Okay, that's a good idea. Let's turn on captions. Oh god, guys. I'm getting... Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. Um, show subtitles, right? Is that it? We gotta dig through... How do we get into this ancient city, though? This looks like just the outside of the ancient city, right? Mine the skulk blocks to heal your elytra. Oh, that's clever. Whoops. <laughs> Did not push button fast enough. Is this the way in? Oh, jeez. Oh, the Shriekers have spikes? Okay, okay, gotcha. This is just skulk stuff, though. Right? Do we have to, like, dig? Do we have to tunnel through it to find the city? You get three strikes. Okay. It's a three strike and you're out type deal. Okay, that heals nice and quickly, which is nice. There isn't always a city. That's annoying. I feel like this might be one of those moments where there isn't a city. For those of you guys with ancient city experience, is this like a no non-city deep dark? We're way too high for a city. Okay. These, oh, those, there's the spiky one, right? That's the danger one. That spiky one. Okay. Hmm. No city yet. Dig down. Okay, let's dig down. I don't think there's anything that can hear us from here, right? Is there? No. We're at minus uh, 51, though. Like, isn't this super deep? We're at my... Uh, why minus 55, guys? 
Let's turn the volume up a bit. That's, I mean, this is bedrock. Oh, we can use carpets? All right, we'll use some carpet action. That'll save on some resources. No city. Let's take a quick look around here. Doesn't look good, does it? Oh, oh no, the stupid, the Zombert. The Zombert is making the thing go crazy. Stupid zombie. Okay, so no city, right? This is this is uh, this is not it. That's unfortunate, guys. I was very hopeful and excited about this. I mean, there's lots of like bits of skulk everywhere. We could use the gigabug to take a quick look, also. That'll save us some time and confirmation. Let's have a look. No city, right? Doesn't look like it. Just a lot of skulk. No action. You hate to see it, man. Th it, this felt so good. This really felt like it was won. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Potion's running out of juice. Yeah, no city. Man, that is uh, that is unfortunate. All right. Well, it is what it is. Let's get the heck out of here, man. Dig straight up, get some music playing again. We shall, uh, we'll try to find the next one. Skycool is uh, hitting us up with some cohorts for an ancient city. Did you check the seed, Skycool? That is very nice of you, man. Thank you. Maybe we'll just go there. That'll save us some time. Minus 8,000 uh, feels like it's pretty close to things that have been explored already, though. Diamonds? Diamonds? Where? I missed the, the, the diamonds? Where? Ah. There's the diamonds. Nice. Good spot, guys. Man, you guys have got good eyeballs. Deep slate diamonds. Very nice. We'll take those. All right, let's go check out the coordinates that um, that Skycool gave us. Our elytra is fine now. We we went. We've got it to like seventy five percent. So we get. Yes, Melodic, we are looking for armor trims today. We have found four already. Two from, uh, or f no, we found six, I think. Four from pirate ships and two from um, a pillager outpost. And now we're off to silence trims from the ancient cities. Enjoying some of the new 120 content, man. Loving it. Coffee Junkie, 34 months in a row. Approaching that mini OG status coffee. Love your face, baby. Welcome back. Kim is mouse in the house with the OG resub for 62 months. 62 months, dang time flies watching rain and derp. Why, thank you, baby, I appreciate it. I'm here to derp all day long, just for your amusement. By the way, guys, if you are new here and um, you want to catch up on our VODs, our VODs are for subscribers only on Twitch, but they do get uploaded to a brand new YouTube channel now. I've uh, just today, in fact, launched or... Uh, unprivated my um, VOD channel on YouTube. Please do go and subscribe. I'm trying to get the channel up to a thousand subscribers. And uh, Ren the Bot has just posted a link to uh, the VOD channel. And if you like these streams, if you're new here, you want to watch more of these, I will be uploading every stream we do 24 hours after we do it on Twitch. If you want access to the VODs immediately, consider being a subscriber of the channel. It's a way that I give back to my subscribers on the channel, uh, giving you guys early access to the VODs. Um, but 
If you don't want to subscribe, that's also totally fine. You can get the VODs on YouTube uh, 24 hours later. And uh, it would be very, very kind of you guys to head over there and just hit that old subscribe button. Uh, Alien Dawn traded 44 months in a row. Mini OG resub. Love your face, Alien. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you, cool. I shall need the cowards once we actually get out of this uh, hell that we're currently stuck in. Uh, speaking of OGs and very important members of my community, guys, big shout out to the incredible B Brain, the administrator of the Dogcraft server, which is, of course, my fan server. And uh, it is a Minecraft Java 1.19 server, free for all Rendog fans from all over the world, 100% free, no hidden costs of any kind. You just have to be 13 years or older, or older and a good human being to be on my server. And uh, if someone could post the information on that server in chat, that would be great. And, uh, well, if you do play on the server, let everybody know how awesome it is, man. We need to get some fresh blood up in there, man. And uh, B-Brain, of course, looks after the server box itself. We own our very own server box. And without B-Brain, the thing wouldn't run. So, B-Brain, love your face, dude. 18 months in a row, double Twitch, baby, baby. Appreciate you, dude. Big shout out to you and everybody else at the, uh, the business, <laughs> so to speak. Oh, we got to get our stuff on the surface too. Yes, that is true. Skellington, chill, bro. Please do chill. Right, we need to get out of this hell, man. I feel like we're stuck in here for eternity. I feel like this might be the way out. Or a way out. Yes, indeed. Okay, now we got to figure out how we went down in the first place. Oh, lord. Oh, it's massive. Oh, can you guys remember where we went down? There was like the village there. And... Oh, no, guys. I don't think I can remember. Okay, we need to... We need to re... re do our... Ancient city finding strategy. We can't leave shulker boxes... Outside. Oh, I made screenshots of the, uh, the coals. What has B-double-O done? Congrats! Professional! <laughs> B-dubs in the nether. How did we go- how did we get down? Okay, um... What was the screenshot, guys? <laughs> it wasn't this, right? Was it this? I don't think it was that hole. I was so excited. I didn't even remember. Oh, you hate to see it, guys. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to try and uh, find the coals real quick. Very, it very idiot of me, I must say. Very idiot of me. I do apologize, everybody. Um, right, let's have a look. Screenshots. You're going to, guys, you're going to write these screenshots down for me, these coords. Minus 8345, minus 12529. Or is somebody already writing it for me? Minus 8345, minus 12529. Minus 8345. Minus 8345. Wow, we went so far. Jeez. Minus 8345. I'll be brain. Thank you very, very much, dude. Minus 8345. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was here somewhere, wasn't it? Minus 83. Here it was. Yes. Yes. Or was it? Was this it? Minus 8345 minus 12529. Okay. 12529. That was definitely not it, by the way. That was the opposite of it. Was it... Was it... Oh, look at this! Hello! Hello, Zombert! Hello, friendo. What's in your box? Well, don't mind if I do. I'll take a little notch apple action. Thank you very much. I mean... I'll take a C418 cat also. Thank you so very much. That's a find. Now that's a find. Even though we can't find our stuff, that's a find. 
Guys, I, I, I'm an idiot. Minus eight three what? <laughs> Minus eight three four five. You know what? I'm gonna put this over here. Minus eight three four five. Uh, minus 12, 529. Minus 12, 529. This away. So terrible at this game. Oh, yes, it was the waterfall thing, was it? Yeah, here we go. Okay, we found it. We found it. Uh, do people want me not to sleep? Sweep! Please! <laughs> He's in the nether. He can't sleep. But he might blow up. <laughs> oh, lols. You love me, you throw trolling. Um, okay. Anyway, let's get back to work, friends. We did find a notch apple, though, so that's awesome. <laughs> B-Dub's got his own problems. Deep face. Oh, man. Lots of fun happening on the Hermacraft server tonight, guys. Awesome. Right. Off we go to... Um, somebody has very kindly gone and found us an ancient city. So, instead of derping around for another f seven years, let's go to an ancient city, shall we? Uh, thank you, Skycool, my friend. Minus 8728. Let's head to towards there first. And then we shall go uh, to minus 12, one t uh, one two or so. There we go. Minus eight, four, eight. Minus eight, seven, two, eight. Minus twelve, one, two, oh. Uh, wait, hold on. This way. Okay, sweet. Minus twelve, one, two, oh. Somewhere quite near here. Minus 12, 1, 2, 0. Minus 12, 1, 2, 0. I still feel like I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. Minus, it's going to be like straight down from here. I still have like no idea what I'm doing. And I'm I'm very, very nervous. Like, I, I think I'm just going to die and lose everything. Where is our loot box? Where's the loot shulker box? It wasn't a stone block. <laughs> that's, uh, <clears throat> that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Uh, that'll be a yikes. That'll be a big yikes. What was in it? Nothing. Wait, no. Our stuff was in it. We had diamonds and stuff in there, didn't we? We had good stuff. Can we... <laughs> We've got to go back for it, right? No loot left behind, friends. Right. Minus eight. Three, four, five. <laughs> I, um, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, guys. This is not a proud moment in my YouTube and career. It's one of the stupidest things I've ever done. Throwing my shulker box of good stuff down a ravine because I thought it was a block of stone. Not my proudest moment. Not my proudest moment. JT seen me do worse. This is true. That cannot be denied. Yes, I can't deny that. We've definitely done worse than that. I don't know. How about ender pearling into the nether lava uh, lake? Remember that one, JT? Minus 12,529. Yes. Remember that one? 
Hmm. I remember that one. I like not to remember it, but I remember it every day of my life. Hello, Zombrots. I need my stuff back. Oh, Creeper, you get away. You get away from it. Oh, this is this is not going well. This is not going well, is it? Okay, I'm panicking. Dude, please. Creeper, dude. Oh, okay. Dude, can you just explode, please? Okay. Smell you later, fools. Won't do it again this time. Surely, surely not. Everything's fine. What coordinates are we going to? <laughs> Tang is on his third redstone shulker. Oh, goodness. That was close. That was, uh, that was a bit too close. Thank you, Sky Cools. Minus 8728. Let's go to that one first. Professional. <laughs> keyboard thank you for the biddies note for future rain uh recolor all gray shulker boxes <laughs> yeah yeah 8728 uh, we're kind of there there and our minus 12 1 2 20 so we've got to go backwards minus 12 1 2 20 we put stuff down right so we'll see it hopefully you did the same in your single player and never had a gray shulker again yeah yeah i'm gonna change i'm gonna recolor them instantly tomorrow I have like different colors for my shulkers that mean stuff so in my ender chest i have like a bunch of shulkers uh that are color coded mostly inspired by etho etho has like the most amazingly organized shulker box uh what a uh, shul shulker box like ender chest it's all like color coded and stuff and really clever and um mine is like much messier but it kind of follows the same ethos <laughs> see what i did there the ladies gentlemen everybody in between i'm here all week babies <clears throat> um so usually orange is rockets giga shield is green like red is redstone of course uh, this color is potions this color is usually like uh armor and tools this is um good stuff the white one is beacon these are balls this is food so i know what they all are by color you know which is good Anyway, let's put our Notch Apple down, right? Before it, uh, let's put that in the Giga Safe, actually. Put this in there, too. Okay, I think we are going to be able to get into our very first ancient city, finally, after all of this time. It has been, it's been a thing, hasn't it? This evening, it's been a thing. We, I think this is the longest any human being has ever taken to get into an, into an ancient city in the history of humankind. You hate to see it. Let's go. We're going to go straight down. We've got uh, an ender chest with us too. How much potion do we have left? None? Okay, that's fine. Okay, you guys ready? This is an adventure. Yes. A very dangerous adventure. I'm probably going to die. But it's fine. Fear is the enemy. Exactly. Pradini says, uh, what inspired the Giga name? Um, I don't really know. Like, at first I wanted to call it Megacorp. And then, I don't know. I just, at the, it just came to me and I liked it. I think, like, the word Giga wasn't being used as much when I came up with it as it is now. So I kind of regret choosing Giga Corp because Giga is used, like, quite a lot. But it seems to be dying down. Like, people are not using Giga that much anymore, which means that Giga Corp is once again becoming uh, okay for me, you know? <laughs> so it's kind of doing, like, full circle. Oh, I didn't set spawn? Hold on. That's not good. Did I not set the spawn? Okay, there we go. Spawn set. Thanks, guys. Oh, my goodness. That was almost very bad. Uh, 
<laughs> that sentence twisted your brain. Imagine what it did to my brain. My brain was the one that made it. Yeah, G exactly. Like the whole Giga Chad thing. Like Giga Chad like actually ruins Giga Corp. You know, like video killed the radi radio star. Giga Chad killed the Giga Corp. <laughs> Peta Corp. <laughs> Just doesn't have the same ring to it, you know. Right, we are at Y51. Still some way to go. We're, we're doing double like this just to make sure we don't die in lava. And we've got a totem. So, you know, we do have an extra life available. Yeah, I like to think that the internet stole Giga from me. I think I came up with Giga before the internet did. Oh! <laughs> Etho says the ice race track is giga. Hey, Etho's watching. Well, I think he's watching. You know it, bro. You know it, Etho. Need some t uh, test laps soon. Plus, connect the snake heads at some point. <laughs> Why am I typing to Etho? I think he's. I think he might be watching. Idiot. Um, okay, we're at Y27. Ooh, scary. Oh, that opens right up. Okay, Ethos about done this section. Amazing. Oh, that's such good news. Guys, the boat race is going to be so sick. Like, I spent so much time over the last couple months working on it just um, during my recovery phase. And um, yeah, did a, did a lot of good work there. And Ethos did a lot of good work too. And yeah, you guys haven't seen a lot of the project on camera, but it has been progressing, like, very smoothly forward. And uh, it's going to be magnificent when it's done. Oh, man. Can't wait. Uh, oh, diamonds. Okay, zombies. Wait a minute. Sorry, friendos. I have uh, things to deal with and stuffs. Okay, everything's fine. Diamonds first. Priorities. How far are we off from racing? Well, I think probably one of the biggest challenges that um, we, and when I say we, I actually mean Etho, because Etho is going to be the only human being that can figure it out. Uh, we need to figure out how we're going to time it <laughs> with redstone. Um, and it's it, it's difficult to figure out because the race is goes across multiple chunks. And so you it's going to be quite complicated. It's not going to be as easy as just like, setting up a like a hopper clock or something you know we're gonna have to do um some redstone shenanigans we also need to set up redstone at the start line that will be able to be triggered so that everybody can start the race at the same time so we still need to do that but other than that i i, I don't know i reckon if ether and i put our uh, put our heads down i reckon our first race could be three to five weeks i reckon we could make it, I mean, we could just say, okay, this week we're just going to grind the track. But, like, what I like about this project is that we're just taking it gently. You know, we're not, like, forcing it. And, you know, oftentimes in the past, like, when I've forced projects to be finished, by the time I finish the project, I actually, I actually am not enjoying it anymore. And I don't get a lot of joy out of it because I, I've just, I've just burnt myself out on it. Whereas, because this project has taken a little bit longer... I'm actually like really excited excited to go work on it every time I do. And um, I actually like, I think I might do projects like this more in the future where you just do it a little bit longer. You don't just like, you don't try to get it done so quick, you know, because you suck the joy out of it for yourself. Yeah, Etho says, I think we're both at the glacier spot, so we need to decide how to connect the two ends. Yeah, so basically like my side, there's like a big open ocean glacier and Etho's side connected to the east of it here and mine connected here and there's just this bit in the middle that we have to work out in between ethos side and my side is like a massive frozen ocean and there is an ocean monument in the middle and the last obstacle we want to make is like um we want to we want to get some um magma cubes down there and we want to push like guardians up as you race past and we also want to like dig the track through the big um what are they called like ice mountains or whatever so you're going to be like racing through things but we've also we've also realized that the track has actually gotten quite big 
and we don't want a lap to take like 15 minutes because no one's going to race the course then and it's not great YouTube content also, you know, it's just, it's too long. Uh, yeah, it's giga long. <laughs> it's fun for Etho and I because Etho and I will race around the track for five hours for our own joy, but um, <laughs> we want Hermits to be able to make content out of it, right? That's the whole point, so... Um, we got to try, we'll probably make the last section a little bit quicker somehow, you know? Yeah, we, we need a giga connection. <laughs> oh, we need to get billboards up too. Ether, we need to make some diamonds out of this venture, man. We need to get some, some billboards up. We're going to sell the billboards to the, the various uh, companies in Hermacraft. I've already spoken to Impulse. He wants to buy like a, I think, I think, I think I buy might actually buy the entire um, start of the track. I think he wants to like, I think I, I think the, the the race might eventually be an I buy race. You know how we had Savannah, uh, Speedy Pines. I think this is going to be like I buys track. And I have been contemplating a name. I'm not sure if I've told Etho the name yet. If he's watching, I'm a. You know what? Let's go big camp for this, man. This is exciting. So this was a name that was inspired by one of the viewers, who came up with a pretty cool name, and I kind of tweaked it. The viewer's original name was. Um. Frozen River Raceway, which is kind of like Speedy Pines Raceway, right? Frozen River Raceway. I'd liked that for a really long time, but for me, there were just like too many syllables in it. One too many syllables. And yeah, it, like it, it does what it says on the tin, right? The Frozen River, <laughs> River Raceway. I kind of want to add like a little more spice into it, you know, a little bit more intrigue or mystique, if you will. What about this? What about this? Blue River Raceway. Blue River Raceway. So like the blue implies, you know, packed ice, which is like blue and well, all the ices are blue, right? In the game. It doesn't like directly imply frozen, that the race is frozen, but it it's cold. You know, blue is like a cold color. It also like cuts a syllable out. So it's just Blue River Raceway. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Rip night vision juice. Yeah, we should probably get on with it, guys. Ether likes the name. Nice. Well, that's one more thing, one less thing to worry about, friends. Makes me think it's on water, though. It is on water. Frozen water. <laughs> you know, uh, guys. Wait, are you are you guys failing to science right now? You realize that ice is water, right? Like. Water, ice, same thing. <laughs> Science lessons with rain. Uh, okay, we have to get serious, people. There is a shrieker or whatever it is that has spotted us and it is making noise every time I dig down. I need to turn the fan off because it's drying out my eyeballs. Give me one second and then we're going to get into this ancient city and bad things are going to happen. Rain dog, why are you doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I, Jevin, has a shop. Why don't I just buy the trims? Why are we doing this, everybody? Can somebody tell me why we're doing this, please? Please. I, why, why are we doing this? Is this what the kids call for content? Is that what this is called? For content. It is for content, isn't it? You hate to see. Well, let's do it for content then. H how are we going to do this, friends? There is something that's getting cross every time I go down. <laughs> for the funsies. Is this fun? <laughs> I would argue that this might be fun for you, but this is definitely not fun for me. <laughs> um... Bat screeches, lava pops. Oh, it, whatever that is, is so cross with us right now. Oh, this is this is terrible, guys. Okay. We'll eventually get away from it, right? Yeah, it's to our left. It's, some, it's somewhere here. But I think it's higher up. We'll just keep digging. Yeah, let's keep digging. Skulk sensor stops clicking. I disturbed its slumber. Yeah, it's, it is not happy right now, is it? 
How far away uh, do you have to be to, for it to stop getting angry? Make sure you can fly out. That's a that's a good point. We definitely can't fly out right now. This is the opposite of being able to fly out. Let's open up this one. Okay, we can fly out from here. Eight or nine blocks. Okay, okay, okay. That made a squishy noise. I didn't... I don't like the squishy noise. Okay, hold on. This is fly out hole. Oh. Okay, we're in. We are in. Just gonna clean the inventory. I need order in my life to be able to complete this task without absolute failure, people. Yeah, that's the portal thing. That's the portal thing. All right, new potion has been sipped. So what's the plan, friends? We need to find the chests, right? The trims are in the chests. God, I, don't, I have no idea where the chests are. When I went into the ancient cities with Etho in the in the life series, I just I was panicking the whole time and I was just following him. Like I I literally had no idea what was going on. We go down and skirt the perimeter for the chests. And when you say go down, you mean we fly down. Right? Tell you what, let's make like a nice magenta thing that sticks out into the middle so that we can easily escape if we need to right this is like our little landing platform of safety and happiness and joy yes that's that let's put ender chest here could probably put the bed here no no that's a bad idea right we don't want to put the bed here why have i kept the stupid diamonds on on, on, on my person okay let's look for chests we skirt around the outside. Like, when you say the outside, you mean, like, we we start here and just follow around. Are there any immediate chests in the immediate vicinity? I guess the chests don't spawn out of vision, right? Shall we start over there? Does flying make noise? Already looted? How do you know? No, 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 no. Okay, that's all types of bad. That's all types of bad. How do we know it's looted? I don't have a shield. Why would those things cross with me? Bro, please. I don't have time for you right now. That is danger. Okay, so that's danger. Do we have uh, hostile creatures? We don't have hostile creatures. We have well, hostile creatures was on z on zero percent sound, so that's not good. Blue wall. We want to land on the blue wall. Okay, the the blue wall is kind of like a landing strip. Is there anything over here? Okay, there's there's chests over there. Let's go check those chests. I don't have to hold shift if I'm walking on wall, right? That's how this works. Okay. Okay. Flying will still make noise. Okay, that's fine. Opening chest makes noise too. Has this been looted? That's our second notch apple tonight. That's two no- Wait. Two notch apples in one chest? Is this even possible? Is I'm screenshotting this. Like this must be Is is that possible? Has this ever happened in Minecraft history? 
Oh, we got to take... If we're going to open Boombox Records, like in our video today, we need to uh, pick up some of the uh, the records from down here too, right? The music discs. All right. Well, I mean, that's insane. <laughs> that's absolutely ridiculous. Thank you very much. We will definitely be t yoinking those. The disc is... Um, hold on. Let's have a look. The disc is 13. Right. I don't think there's any shriekers around here. Here's the Lena Rain one, which is awesome. And you know what? Let's take some torches too. Let's start picking up some of the torches. Swift Sneak 1. I guess I'll take it. Nice. Okay. Well, this was a, this was like a, a nice little loot here because it doesn't look like there's shriekers and stuff around here too. So that's good. And I think this is a decent place to start exploring the uh, the ancient city. We've made our magenta landing platform over there. And let's land on that blue strip like professionals. Oop! Okay, these things are crossed now. Take the skull? Wait, there's a skull? Where's the skull? Hey, Digital, I'm feeling good. Thank you. For, and uh, I feel I feel good. Thank you for asking, my friend. That's uh, very, very nice of you to ask. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think this has been generated. Where's the skull? Did I leave it behind? Am I blind? Like, is there a skull here? It's in the hole next to the chests. Oh, right, right, right. Somewhere here. There it is. Oh, very nice. Awesome. Skeleton skull. Nice. Man, ancient cities are sweet. They got such cool stuff in them. Okay. Let's keep focused though, friends. These are not like... Uh, this isn't like raiding the end that you can do with your eyes closed. Like this is... Uh, you actually have to concentrate. <laughs> Unless, you, you know, if you don't want to die. All right. Uh, so, we follow the top. Where are the next chests? Like, there? Where's my ender chest? Oh, it's up It's up there. My ender chest is up there. Okay. We can hoe this thing. Get out of my way, dude. Chill, dude. No chest there. Crouching good. Okay, crouching good. I'm crouching. My pinky finger is very crouching right now. Chest. Those things bad, right? That's the badness right there. No! Zombie! No! Zombie! Dude. No, Zombert. This way, dude. This way. Please. That's... Okay. We have to kill the zombies. They... This one's holding the flesh of its dead brethren. These stupid things are going to set the shulkers off, right? Bro, please. You causing chaos. Jeez, okay. Everything's fine. Surround the chest in wool. Oh, they ignore player. They they ignore mobs. Okay, I didn't know that. I mean, it's it, they were making noises though. <gasps> oh no, we're out of night juice. We have to fly back to. Um... Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh they're up there also okay this is oh no oh! okay we're fine everything's fine everything's fine i'm not panicking i'm not panicking everything's fine Yeah, let's torch it. Let's torch it for sure. Okay. 
Where is the potion box, by the way, that we made? Here it is, the red one. Let's make sure we've got enough potions on us. We're also going to need some more wool, I believe. I don't want this potion in my inventory, please. And the wool is... It, it looks like up here where we are, it actually doesn't disturb anything. So I think we found like a pretty decent safe spot up here. Giving us access to the whole ancient city, which is cool. This is awesome, man. I'm very excited to get into these chests. I want to know what's in there, man. There seems to be insane stuff. We've got two notch apples in one chest. Ridiculous. There's gray, there's gray wool everywhere? Where? Oh, but that's a part of the city though, right? Yeah, that's a part of the build. Alright, let's take some more wool with us. And go back to trying to open that chest. Okay, so, from what I understand that you guys are saying here. Let's take some more uh, rockets also. We want to surround the chest with wool. That will stop the chest making noise when we open it. Correct? That's the strategy that we are trying to do. And the wool stopping stuff below us hearing. I see. I understand. Okay. 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 All right. Here we go. Oops. So we're on the wool. That's good. There's lots of shrieking and whatnot going on here. So what you guys are saying is... We do this. Like that. Like this, right? Now we can open it. Nice. Nice. What is all of this? Disc fragments. Okay, we need the disc fragments. Bottles O enchanting. You know what? I don't actually want those because I'm going to use them and make noise. Our wings are perfectly fine. Just books and stuff. We don't want any of this other stuff. Okay, nice. So that's done. That chest is done. No more, right? On that side? I don't think so. Let's go check on this side now. Loving the carpet strategy that you guys told me about. Very cool. Nice way to save on uh, on wool. We came with like a shulker box of wool though, so we're okay. If you just joined us, guys, by the way, welcome. We are currently looking for trims in the ancient cities of Minecraft 1.20. <laughs> and if you... <laughs> If you have joined us welcome uh by the way uh guy brush dude thank you so much that's 20 minutes ago i completely missed that thank you for the five gifted subs you know what you get a hootin and a tootin and a hootin tootin for them five gifted subs very very much appreciated and code of viper with the party radio so thank you folks welcome 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 welcome, guys. welcome if you are enjoying the show please remember to hit the follow button so you can get uh, a notification when we stream we try and stream three times a week so uh, and if you miss the stream, you can check out our VODs on YouTube. Or you can be a subscriber on the channel where you'll get the VODs right away. But if you don't want to subscribe, that's okay. VODs on YouTube at Rendog TV, uh, 24 hours after uh, every stream. Just quick, uh, you know, quick plug. Right, let's continue on our mission. That chest is mission number two. Looks safe though, right? Like there's no... Doesn't look like there's any of the naughty ones here. Better safe than sorry, though, I'm assuming, in this, this situation. Let's make sure the chest is properly uh, prepared, if uh, so to speak. All right, carpets. And... It's also good to show other hermits that we've been here, right? They don't waste time when they come here. What we got? Ooh, double horse arm. Dudes, these, these cities are so OP. The, the loot is insane. Another notch apple. Don't mind if I do. No shards or, or no uh, trims though, unfortunately. Nothing else that we want, I think. Um, inventory looking sad. <gasps> that makes noise. Throwing items makes noise. There's another skull. I want the skull. We're getting the skull. Okay. Didn't realize that throwing items makes noise, so that's annoying. Counts as a signal. I see, I see, okay. Alright, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Hello, Skull. 
Yoink. Okay, there's a naughty one. Now are the chests. Uh, do we want to go inside this? Are there chests in there? Because so far we've explored this thing. We've looted here. We've looted there. We've looted here. I guess we just keep going straight here, right? Yo, Nikon, thank you very much for the 40 month mini OG resub. Get some hootin' and tootin', baby. Ren, I can't drop in often, but it's good to see you when I do. I'm playing on the friend Mel's Skyblock server and I'm having a blast. I hope you're having a good day too. Dude, so glad to hear you that you're playing some Minecraft, man. That's awesome. Hope you're having a great time. Uh, also, by the way, Jager, thank you so much for that tip. Uh, that's our, our first tip this evening. Thank you, my friend. Hey, Ren, just finished binging, binging everything from season seven to present and wanted to say hi. Wow. That's a lot of content and also very many versions of Rendog. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you very much, Jaeger. I appreciate that, dude. And thank you for the tip and for the hundreds of hours that you've spent uh, consuming the content. That means uh, more to me than anything. Thank you. As long as we're crouching, we don't need carpet. Okay, but you know, the carpet like gives us uh, breadcrumbs, right? It tells us where we've been. So I like it. There are lots of chests. Okay. All right, um, let's get into this building, I think. See what's in here. Oh, that's carpet down there. Hold on. Whoops. Oh, geez. Okay, this this is... Th this is things. Things and stuffs in here, for sure. Scary. They are really cool, though, these ancient cities. My goodness. Super awesome. Uh, I mean, like, where are the chests, though? Are they just all over the place? Yeah, ancient cities are, are pretty scary. I'm not going to lie. Like, it, it, it's a really interesting game mechanic that they've done, and I really like it because I think it's the only part of Minecraft where there's a consistent tension, right? Where there's a consistent chance that something can go wrong. And when something goes wrong, it's not like, you know, you lose a heart or two. It's like the, the most terrifying mob of all time arrives and can literally slay you in seconds. And um, that mechanic doesn't really exist anywhere else. Like the only other feeling that I can in Minecraft that I can describe this as is drowning. You know, like when you go too deep into the ocean and you're trying to get to the surface and your life is ticking down. <sighs> Oh, oh, this is bad. Okay, this is really bad. When does the darkness go away? Okay, is that it? Is is that it? Is it, is it did I mess it up? <laughs> We're still good. We get three. Okay, so that's strike one. That's strike one. All right, guys, I have to concentrate. I have to watch the screen. I have to watch the screen. Uh, can you run on carpet, by the way? Like, I don't have to crouch on the carpet, right? I can run on the carpet. Oh, okay, I gotta be careful. It comes on the third strike. Oh, that scared the living hell out of me, people. I, I mean, I'm like, my heart, my heart rate went crazy. Wait. That is a horrendous noise. I'm, I just want to say that that noise is absolutely horrendous. Whoever like made that noise, props for making the most terrifying noise in a video game. Okay, here we go. Let's continue. How did that happen? What did I do? I, I don't actually know what I did there. Did I throw something? Did I drop something? I, th I think I dropped something. I don't actually know what happened there. Potion slurping. How does potion... S okay, so potion slurping also makes the noise. Diamonds! 
<laughs> I love how quickly I can spot diamonds just in the peripheral. Boom. All right, I'm trying to find more chests. I'm going to like be a little bit less usage of the wool. I just want to indicate to myself where I've been with the wool, you know? This is like old school Minecraft when you used to cave. And you could use wool in the caves to like show you where you've been, you know? Ladder climbing is probably insane noise, so we won't do that. Um, we've kind of come to the other side of the city now. This is all wool, so we're safe. We haven't explored these ruins on the side. I, I guess that's what it is. Uh, like the design of this thing is that these are like kind of ruin things. We haven't been here yet, right? No, we haven't been to these bits yet. Okay, there's loads here. Yeah, there's, there's chests in all of these things. Okay, so this one, this one. There's a naughty. There's many naughties around here, actually. So we just have to be really careful now. All right, here we go. Here we go. And let's continue to surround the chests with wool also. Uh, is, is us not finding trim normal? Or, you know what I mean? Like, is, was this area, is this a 119 area that someone loaded when they flew over? You know, and that's why we're not getting trim. Or is, is the trim quite rare? We haven't got silence yet. No, not yet. We're looking for it. I have a feeling like that this is a load, a pre, like a 119 chunk though, because we haven't, we've opened what? This is like our fourth chest now? It's very rare. Okay, it's very rare. Okay, okay. No worries. All right. Let's crank this sucker open, babies. Boom. Anything of value? The disc fragments is what we want. Very nice. The rest is rubbish. We don't want none of that. Okay, let's go to the opposite one now. Trims are rare. 5% chance. And the other is a 1% chance. Okay. We could break the wool and use it again. Yeah, we got tons of wool. I'm not too worried about the wool at this stage. Okay. Come around the corner for the next one. Man, this is nerve-wracking, people. I think we're doing well, though. I think I got the hang of these ancient cities now. You just got to run a couple of chests and then uh, it makes sense to you, you know. But there's lots of naughties here. There's two naughties. Those are the ones that got crossed earlier. We good? <laughs> we good? Wow, Fortune 3, Efficiency 5 diamond hoe don't mind if i do it raises the heartbeat like Im oh, bad badness much badness much badness many panics we've got 32 33 wool left we're gonna have to find an end to chest soon it's gonna be another one here how did that one... Wait, let me try and understand this. Why did this trigger... Oh, these were listening. Like, they can hear through the wall here, right? They can hear through here. That is unfortunate. Yeah, the walls transmit. That is... Mm. Okay. Well, there's nothing really you can do about that then, right? Does this one have transmitters behind it? No. Should be fine. Famous last words. I think this one's fa uh, good to open, though. All right. That one was fine. Name tag? I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take a name tag. I'll have a name tag. Don't mind if I do. This is a good opportunity to dump some loot, too. Or some some junk. Let's get some junk out of here. Very nice. We need to head back to our ender chest, though. Because <laughs> uh, we are out of... Um, we're out of wool. Okay, so that one's done. This side is done. 
This side is done. That side's also done. Did we, did we do both on this side? There was only one on this side, okay? Only one ruin. Is there a chest at the very end? Oh, there's lots of naughties here. No chest back here, right? No. Okay. All right. I think this side is now uh, completely explored. We can head back to our ender chest now and uh, reload. Oops. See, running out of night juice. In the towers, you say. In the towers. Right. These towers? Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, these things. How do we get back safely? Let's follow our uh, our breadcrumbs to take us back. We don't need to sneak on the carpet. I know, it, it just makes me feel safer. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> oh, up the ladder? Hmm. Let's go get some more, um, some more wool. Big towers, okay. Uh. Yeah, it's the feeling of assurance, exactly. Um... I'd like to figure out like where the the, sa the safe part is to fly. I think it's back here. Well, there's shriekers. There, there's these things here. The, sk the skulk sensors. I think the safe spot to fly is on the blue. What I don't like is that it's not a it's not a really easy. Oh, it's not the easiest platform to land on, to be honest. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, that was easy-ish. Right, let's put all of our loot down. Very nice. Three notch apples so far. At least we're picking up notch apples for uh, whatever mini game that Etho makes next that will need notch apples. <laughs> so we can give Etho one of these. Uh, we'll dump bottles in here too. Right, uh, we don't need more rockets. We need more wool. A lot more wool. Oh yeah, we got the... Uh, the extra hoe too. You know what? We can drop the giga hoe now. I'd rather not lose that one. Let's pick up some wool and probably some more night vision potions too. Okay, nice. You guys were saying ladders. So if I went up there, what about is this one? Is this the one that you're talking about? Get a lot more. There we go. I can't really see anything there. I see like a kind of tower, but it doesn't look like a really big tower. Guys, does actual flying make noise or is it the rockets that make the noise? My ice is melting and messing my desk up. Annoying. They both make noise, so it's just better to walk all the time. Go to the ladder and look around. You missed a chest. All right. Landing on the blue seems safe. Oh, it scared the living heck out of me, man. Jeez. Dumb enthusiastic. Thank you for the party raid and for driving my heart rate through the roof, man. Gliding is okay, I think. You see, it's all these I, I thinks that I don't like. <laughs> you guys aren't very certain about your uh, your information. <laughs> it makes me nervous. Oh.
that bat is causing problems. Bat, please, dude. You gotta stop. Please, bat. Don't do this to me, man. Please. <laughs> it takes effort pulling up the wiki, Ren. <laughs> Fair. Fair enough. Uh, you missed a chest, somebody said. Where? Here's the ladder. I don't want to go up the ladder, honestly. I uh, I don't trust your guys' information. I'm going to go up wall instead. There's no chest up here. Do you see the, the, the chest on the far right? Where? Yeah, that bat is super annoying, not going to lie. Oh, there? Oh, good spot, guys. Good spot. Yeah, good spot. Um, how do we get down safely? Can I say ladders are fine? <laughs> that is uh, some nerve-wracking business, man. Going down a ladder that you don't actually know if it's good or not. <laughs> I think it's good, though. Yeah, the ladders seem fine. I think we're okay with ladders. All right, uh, this one looks dodgicals because there's skulk around it. All right, I think that's good. <gasps> Everything's fine. All we get is one couple fragments. Not worth it. That was not worth the pain. Oh, it's the noises, though. Okay. So is this side done? Is this thing going to have anything in it? That's like a really tall tower. You guys were saying that the tall towers have things in it? That looks like pretty tall to me. Not those ones. It's a column. Okay, that's a column. Just the ones with the ladders and stairs. Okay, that. Okay, that's good to know. So, like, just ones with the ladders and stairs. We kind of we've already looked up here, right? We didn't see anything on this level. I mean, there might be something at the end. Are there chests at the end there? Oh, there's two floors to this. Oh, I see what you mean. So there's another floor here above the, the chest that we just opened here. I see, I see, I see. Okay. There's the one that we just opened. Here's a second floor. No chest on the walkways. Okay, good to know. There it is. Oh, there's skulk everywhere, guys. How do we open this one? Do we, do we hoe these things? I don't think we can stop. I think we hoe these things, right? Just open it and risk it. <laughs> oh, man. All right. That should do it. Hey, we actually got some of the skulk sensors in here, though. I, I'm assuming we take these, right? You can't pick these up, I get. Or you can, I guess, with Salt Touch. We'll take those. We'll take these for Ether. Ether likes these things. No darkness. Okay, so if darkness comes, then bad. third level nothing on the third level this gives us a nice decent view though across the rest of the city where are we going next so this 
this little wing's now done, right? Are you guys happy with this? I think we've uh, looted this wing, right? That's that's completed. Now we move on to this section of the city. The heartbeat comes just run. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to warden you again. Just when you thought you were getting great loot. I showed up and your butthole did shoot. And the feelings of fear were in your heart. That still remain for the warden of pain. <laughs> oh, it's getting late guys i've been streaming for a very long time okay the brain is starting to melt okay um <laughs> what are we looking for uh let's let's pick a path okay what about this way what happens this way this feels like there's loot here with all this wood stuff Yeah, I feel like there's trims in this direction, guys. I can feel it. Yeah, there's a chest there. There's a chest. That's the trims chest. That's the one. Silence is in there, guys. I have sung our trims into existence. It's true. These are, these are half slabs? Annoying. Is this like the main chest of the whole thing? Is this like guaranteed goodness? There's Skulk down there. Is that bad? Ah, that fire's really loud. It's just a gapple. to gapple okay that is uh anticlimactic of note <laughs> hello darkness my old friend i've got a gapple for you again you thought you were going to get a trim instead you got a gapple you are dim and your butthole did squeeze for no reason. <laughs> it still remains the sound of the warden. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go this way. Our exploration continues. We've got loads of wool left. We can be liberal. Nothing on the... Oh, there's a ruin. That's... I, I, I recognize these things now as loot places. Yeah, usually like when we... We've, we're over streaming right now. We're not supposed to stream this, this long. Uh, my moderators are probably shouting at me on Discord to stop streaming now. Because they got my back. But, you know, we're having a good time. So, um, this is definitely one of those situations in Minecraft, though, with it, where you got to know when to quit, right? You know, this is like when you go on a massive mining for diamonds mission and you, you find hundreds, like two, three stacks of diamonds and you just know, if I don't go home now, I'm going to die. But you push it, you push it just that one, one more diamond patch and then you die and lose everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, feels like one of those things. That's what this feels like. Ooh, double chests. Okay. This is looking real tasty. 
this has got to be it, right? This is our trim right here. This, this is the one. Or one of the ones. Are there any naughties around? There's a naughty. I see you, naughty. I think we're good. Okay, here we go. Not chapel. 13 record that we're going to sell in Boombox Records. So I'll take it. Beautiful. Next. Does the noise go in the diagonals? Do I have to fill these in? Um, there's three noughties and many listeners. Okay, they don't. Okay, that's good. All right. I got slightly excited because this thing I haven't really seen this before. Echo Shard. Nice. But we did get Diamond Horse Armor and Fire Aspect 2. I don't care about the Fire Aspect 2, actually. We did get a saddle, though. Take the saddle. That's some rare loots. Okay. Uh, this one is going to be tough. This is a lot of stuff going on there. Like, a lot. That's a lot. Where's our escape route, by the way? There. Oh, geez. Okay, so escape route is that way. Oh, this is bad. This feels bad. Something's telling me this is bad. Oh, no. No! You... You can't do this to me. This is... No, 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 no. Dudes, is placing torches noise? Is placing tor Can I place torches? Is that noise? Wool around the noughties? That's clever. Torches are noisy, okay. So is slurping potion. We're going to have to go by a candlelight for this one? <sighs> okay, this is... This is... I'm, this is legitimately... Wrecking my nerves right now. That should be alright. That should be fine, right? Dudes, I'm too old for this, man. I can't, like, this part of the game is was created for the young people. Did you guys see what was in the chest? I didn't get a chance to see. Was it, is it worth looking at? I didn't, I didn't even look. I just panicked. Nothing good in the chest. How do I cover the noughties, though? Look at this one. This one's got a, a thing in front of it. So, like, I can't cover that naughty. Man, this is nerve-wracking, people. I, don't, I can't... Can I break this one? Oh, just wool around the whole thing. I see. I see what you mean. Yes, yes, yes. That'll work. So we just wool this entire thing like this. Why did that trigger, though? Is there something behind there that listened? This one. It was this one. I didn't see that one. That was a sneaky little one there. Guys, I can't see anything. Yeah, the above one, right? Can we even stop that one from working? From hearing this one? There. That should do it, right? That should do it.
That should do it, I think. Cover the tops of them. Okay, I think was I think this is safe, right? I feel like this is safe. The bricks don't block drop, uh, block noise. No, they don't. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. I want to open the chest from like up here though, because I need the, a, a good flight path. I'm gonna open the chest with rockets though. <sighs> okay, here we go. Here we go. That's two out of three. Oh my god. This is outrageous, people. Outrageous. <sighs> okay. Nothing in that chest, right? You guys got to look. I didn't actually see what was in it. I was panicking. Nothing in the chest, right? Let's put down the loot, though. There's diamond horse armor. Okay, I don't care about the diamond horse armor. That's not worth it. Trims or, or trims or bust. We're on the final warning, though. Yes, yes, we are. Um, let's go that way for now. I think. I kind of like this access that I've made here, also to our chill zone. This is nice. I like this. There are naughties up here, though. Lots of them. Let's go that way. Might need to restock wool soon. Yes. Very soon. Uh, can I land down there without causing chaos? There's a chest. Nice. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> Alright, let's go for this one. Whoops. Yeah, it's wool, but I, I like I was thinking if the bone crunching is a problem, you know, like when it goes <coughs> like as you land and like crush your your legs. Alright, this one looks safe to me. This one looks really safe. There's no sensors behind. Lots of naughties, but it doesn't look like, um, are there any below? Nothing below. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're good. Some diamond leggings. All right. Take some torches too. I wish, dudes, I wish all of the loot in this game, like all the chests that you find was, were as like well thought through as, as these cities, you know, like the loots and dungeons and stuff are just so underwhelming. But like every, every chest you open down here has like got something that's cool. I think that's what this game needs. Like all of the things, like all the loot, uh, the, 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 all the loot tables just need to be made a little bit more awesome. I think. I think these ancient cities have shown like the, the, the A standard for what loot could be in Minecraft. And I really like it. It's really fun. Like, it's really rewarding doing this, you know. Alright. Let's get this thing. Anything? There's more swift sneaks and sensors. We'll take those. 
Ooh, that's our first catalyst, actually. We haven't got catalyst before, I think. I'll take the skulk stuff also. Looks like a pretty cool block to build with. There is the next one. There's a naughty right there. Okay, this one might be trickier than anticipated, but it looks like this naughty can be completely concealed. There we go. It doesn't look like he has any friends around him to alert him of my presence, so I think we're good. Is that more city or just... I think that's just Skulk over there. All right. Uh, another 13. Name tags. Another diamond hoe. Some more of these echo shards. Don't mind if I do. If you're just careful, like, this isn't too bad, you know? Like, you just got to be careful. You just got to be vigilant with the wool. Don't take too many risks. And you can get through these cities fairly well, I think. The trouble is, like, uh, the sneaky senses that are chilling behind walls and, like, in crevices and stuff that you can't see. You know, that's, that's the tricky bit. Because those are the ones that catch you. Yeah, we're getting... I guess... I, I don't know if we are unlucky with the trims, though, because the trims are 5% and 1% drop rates. It's, pr it's pretty low drop rates, you know? Like, it's about as, as low as you can get in the game, you know? I mean, we've got, like, five notch apples, though, which is pretty awesome. I haven't seen any of these towers that you guys were talking about. We haven't looted any of those yet. Right, let's head back for some more wool, I think. And another loot drop here. Man, our, our chest of goodies is filling up. Nice and fast, isn't it? It's looking good, man. This, is a, this has been a, a very lucrative adventure so far, friendos. <laughs> this has been sweet. Let's sip on some more night juice. And get ready to go out again. I'm getting more confident now too, which is, which is cool. Let's take some more wool. Alright, off we go. This time around, so we've explored that side of the city. We want to carry it. We haven't read... Have we done this side? Like, everything there? I, is, that the, is that it? I, have we done it all? <laughs> Lutecrative. Exactly, my friend. Lutecrative. Uh, Emperor Vorthan, thank you for the 10 months in a row, by the way. And Asteria, so nice to see you. Thank you for the 34-month almost mini OG Risa. Finally able to catch a live stream. Arrived at a very tense moment. Yes, you have. I'm um, I'm sweating in places a man's not supposed to be sweating. I, I mean, I'm just going to put it that way. Uh, Dom Enthusiastic, uh, thank you for the raid earlier. You scared the living heck out of me, dude. But thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Uh, guys, is that it? This is a small city, right? The room under the frame? Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a... Uh, that, that was the, the gapple disappointment. There's a room under the frame, you say? Really? Where? I mean, even if this is it, like, I'm pretty pleased with this. I think, uh... I think this was, like, a decent... For a first ancient city raid, like this was, uh, this went really well. Oh, it's just a redstone room. No, oh, I don't care about the redstone stuff. Is that it? Like, is that it? Shall we get the gigabug out and have a look? Let's see. So where we put the pink is like wh everywhere we went. Oh, there's one more here. Okay, we haven't done, there's one more little section here. Looks like there's one more chest there, right? Man, this is so cool. This ancient city is like gone into the stalactite and stalactites and stalagmites. That's so cool. But all the way around here is it doesn't look like there's anything. We've done all of this. We cleared out this side. We didn't clear out this side. What's this? Wait, what's this? 
Oh, that's a that's a nasty trap right there. Those note blocks. Is it some? I'm not I'm not going to look use the gigabug to look, but I'm assuming there's a chest in there. Okay, we haven't done that yet. There's another one here, dudes. There's loads left. There's loads left, man. That room looks really scary, though. Good evening, Ice Pickle. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's only food. <laughs> the ice room is not the loot you seek. <laughs> okay. We shall dodge the ice room then. I, like, I actually didn't realize how much design went into the ancient cities. I'm very impressed with with this, I must say. Uh, I think Mojang has done a really great job here. Wait, we've gone. I've gone completely backwards, haven't I? Oh, this is terrible. You hate to see it. What am I doing? We're supposed to be going in that direction, right? Like, all the way that way? There's so many sneaky traps that they try to set for you to make noise. It's very, very sneaky indeed. Okay, we're going to go all the way around. And we need to go up at some point, right? I think we've got to go this way. Around the corner and then... Across the bridge. Yeah, we've got to go this way, right? We kind of went this way already, but... Uh-oh, I made footsteps. But I think we missed some rooms back here. Or some chests anyway. Where was the one that I missed? Yeah, we, we did come all the way out here. Uh, it was this way. Yeah, we haven't gone this way yet. Yeah, this is where all the cool static mites and tights and whatnot are. Uh, okay. Let's just bridge across, it's fine. Into the dripstone we go. Heck yeah, man. That's where the trim is, guys. Listen, tonight in tonight's stream, we found trim in a pirate ship that was stuck in a frozen spire. Okay? It was awesome. We will only find our trim in awesome things. There is a chest over here. In and amongst the dripstone, which has bled into the... D there is a geode right there. Also, by the way. Also geode. That is... That's surely good luck in Minecraft, right? When you come across a geode in the open like this, that's uh, that's good luck. Don't you guys know? It's true. Ask anybody. Where's the chest, though? <laughs> Dang it. Is it up? I thought there was a chest here. Am I... Am I stupid? Oh man, look how beautiful the pink and grey wool looks together, right? Such an awesome colour combination. Oh, it's left. Oh, uh, whoopsie! It's in that one, right? Somewhere there. We won't use the Gigabug too much. The Gigabug is kind of cheaty. I mean, you can just use your camera account, but like, I wouldn't use a camera account to like find chests often, you know, if I've been searching for a really long time and I just want to find the chest and I'll, I'll use it sneakily. Man, am I blind? Is it up? Oh, it's up. Man, this is like a crazy place up here. Um, what the heck? It's in the stalactite? You mean like inside this thing? I thought we, we could see it with the naked eye the last time we were here. I mean, this has got to be it, right? Surely. Oh, 
Oh, there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this was behind. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. All right, this is sh this has got to be it. I mean, this is this has got to be it, people. <laughs> Please. No, we're running out of juice too. All right, here we go. Oh, there's nothing there. Dang it. Mending book, though. That's nice. And a saddle. Very nice. I think we're safe here. For another sip. Yeah, we're safe. We good. Okay, so we found that one. Then, uh, what was the other undiscovered ones? There wasn't another undiscovered one here, I believe. Yeah, this side of the ancient city looks quite safe, actually. Doesn't seem to be much um, sensor action here, which is good. Hmm. Yeah, we're looking for silence. We are looking for silence. Where was the other chest that we missed? There, right? There was one there. Oh, there's probably one in there, too. In and amongst this massive... Wow, that stalact that stalact might like spawn directly over this ruin. I think we're actually okay, you know. I think we can might even be able to dig into this without like causing any ruckus. Seriously, this like would a chest spawn inside there, do you think? I doubt it though, right? Like, I think this is, the chest for this structure was at the top. This is crazy, though, that the static might spawn like this. Is there a chest in here? I don't think so, right? Probably not, but it would be cool if there was. Yeah, it would be amazing. We're looking for the silence trim. We found the pirates tri the, the pirate trims today though, which is cool. All right, I don't think it's in there. I think there's one here though. The, like it's pretty safe here though, right? I haven't seen any sensors. All right, no chest here. We did spot a chest that we hadn't spotted though. I don't want to start running for no reason though. Any chests here? Nope, not there. Nothing there. There was definitely one more chest at least that we hadn't seen yet. I think it's all the way back there. Can't actually remember now. Hey, Agra Vic Void, brand new subscriber. What's happening, my dude? Always love seeing the new subscribers coming in. There's not many of them coming in, so it's beautiful to see. Thank you so much, uh, Agra, for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you, and welcome to the fam. Uh, you get early access to our VODs. Uh, our VODs are subscriber only, but um, the VODs get put up onto YouTube 24 hours later. But as a subscriber, you get them first. So welcome, my friend. Welcome. It was over here, right? It was all the way at the end. Yeah, we uh, we even came here and then just... Why did we not carry on? Idiots. Okay. That's going to be it, guys. We're going to go and do those that last chest there. And then we got to get ourselves out of here with all of our sweet loot. And then uh, bedtime. Been a productive... A productive evening of pooping ourselves. <laughs> it's... This place is hit. This place is terrifying. It's horrible, <laughs> but also super fun at the same time. Seriously though, like how how awesome is a uh, gray wool and pink wool together? Look at that. It's like a match made in heaven in my in my eyes. I love these color pair. This color pair, it's amazing. Anyway, uh, distracted. <laughs> Let's get this chest cranked. 
Kimmer says bedtime. It's only 4.30. Hey, Kimmer's, what's happening? All right, here we go. Boom. Is this the trim chest? Please. It's... Ah, oh, we put so much blood, sweat, and tears into this adventure. Okay, here we go. I'm going to close my eyes. Dang it. <laughs> oh, I was I was just hoping beyond all hope that we had a shard in there. That would have been a, a, a great for a YouTube cl uh, short. <laughs> Idiot finds shard on stream. <laughs> um Okay, I I think that's it, right? That was the last one that we didn't open. There was this thing that you guys said is not worth uh, getting stuck into. There's just food or something in there, right? So, uh, I think that's it. Let's just have one final sweep. Oh, there's another one. We've got this one. Okay, there's one more. Oh, we've got some joyous music playing now. Nothing can go wrong. Yeah, it's almost midnight in the UK. Almost bedtime for all of us UK peeps. Dum, da, da, dum. Nothing go wrong. Everything is fine. One more chance. Here we go. This is it. I can smell it. That's our shard right there, guys. That's silence award. Definitely. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Cut the music. This is what we call uh, professional content creation. I believe the word is anticipation. I'm going to close the eyes. Wait, I can't see the... Uh, I can't see the button to switch scenes. Okay, now I can. Now I can. Okay, now I can. <laughs> I'm going to close... The okay, I'm going to open the chest... Okay, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. You guys get first view. You guys get okay. There's the button. Here we go. You get first view. Boop. <gasps> okay. I'm gonna look. Put the happy music back on. Help us feel a bit better. Dang it. Swift Sneak 3, though. I mean, we take Swift Sneak 3 every day of the week. Plus Curse of Vanishing Legs, which is always good for an Etho game. So we'll yoink that for Etho. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. I um, think we can fly... Wow, that was some adventure, friends. That was an adventure and a half. Let's take a quick look at what we managed to uh, to yoink out of this city. We got 21 disc fragments, so that's two records, right? We can make two records out of this. Is that how it works? Like you put the rec you put, how do you make a like a record out of disc fragments? I mean, all the records are for Boombox records, so I'm actually really happy we got some stock today. This is excellent. Uh, real excellent. We got some ar we got some armor pieces. We got four notch apples, which is ridiculous. We found two notch apples in one chest, which has got to be insane. Like the odds of that must be very very low. Thank you, uh, uh, <laughs> Uber Nerd Right. That's very kind words from you. Thank you so much. Nine shards per record. Okay. Okay, so we got two records, we got two disc frame records today, which we can sell in our record shop. Amazing. We got a couple of skeleton heads, which, you know, whatever. 
pretty cool though. We got like a ton of golden horse armor. This is very rare. That's awesome. And Swift Sneak 3. Plus a mending book. Two Swift Sneak 2s. So we got two Swift Sneak 3s. So that's good. Plus a saddle. Let's not forget about uh, ye old saddle. Mending, get out of here, dude. Got two saddles, in fact. These can go too. I mean, you know what? I think that was actually a very, very successful mission, if you ask me, friends. Very successful. I have no idea where we are, though. I think I might... Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll death warp, but I'm thinking maybe I'll start my next episode from here. This is, like, quite an interesting place to start a, a, an episode, you know? Like, hi, guys. Welcome to uh, another Rendog video. We're starting here in an end city that we spent four hours raiding. Oh, by the way, check out the footage. We found a double notch apple in one chest. Amazing. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think that's going to probably do it for this evening. Listen, I do want to take a moment to say a very big thank you for um, all of the amazing support tonight. Um, very, very, very much support came in. Quite overwhelming. Uh, pushing us close to 900 subscribers on the channel for the month of June, which is just simply amazing. Um, you know, the last, uh, the start of this year was pretty rough for me in real life. And, um, you know, as far as like earnings from YouTube and Twitch, they've been pretty light this year, you know. So don't panic. I'm fine. I'm just saying that, um, you know, they, they, it's been quite a light year for me. So, you know, your guys' support has just meant so much. It's, it's really helped to relieve some of that concern um, that I've been faced with. So uh, thank you so much. I want to say a very big thank you to the moderators also. Thank you guys so much. Uh, oh, there was a... Somebody had a channel points um, prediction going. I wonder who set that up. Summer, was that you? Did you do me? Di did you do do me dirty, Summer? Huh? How dare you, madam? <laughs> what was the results? Um. Wait, I can't see. Why can't I see the results? Oh, there we go. Okay, so the question was: Will Ren die to the warden? <laughs> Sixty-three percent of you said no. You know what? You guys are awesome. Thirty-seven percent of you, yes, it's the warden. You guys are also awesome, but not quite as awesome. And uh, you guys got the lion's share of one hundred and fifty-eight thousand ren coin. How many ren coin do you guys have? My lord. We need to do something with those ren coin, don't we, guys? Goodness. So many rain coin uh, in circulation right now. Pretty insane. Um, anyway, if only we could turn the rain coin into dollar coin, then we could all retire. <laughs> oh, goodness.